Uh, here, I'll just uh, here. Let me let me play this. Uh, let me play this intro music. We'll get this thing fired up right now. Sure. We'll we'll, 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 get, it, we'll get it going. Right, let's do. Fucking thing sucks. We'll do it live. All right, here we are. Another Cruise Mistake podcast adventure. This is Grimstake here with uh, my man James Cruz. I am here. What's up? What's up, man? <laughs> and we have special guest Denver Michaels here with us. Hello, Denver. Hey, what's up, boys? Oh, man, just living the dream. Just, uh, <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> you know, we're doing, our, uh, we're doing our Tuesday thing. We're not quite live right now. We will be in a little bit, but... Uh, yeah, man. I'm just gonna hang out. Uh, I think I think Felix said he might pop in a little bit later. Maybe Jerry will come in. Who knows? The crew. Ooh. But uh, yeah, we have. But but you know, screw that. We got Denver tonight. Exactly. <laughs> we're, we're gonna hang out. He's gonna he's gonna <laughs> enlighten us yeah. with his cryptozoology knowledge. Yeah, or lack thereof. <laughs> oh, don't oh, don't be so modest, Denver. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, we kind of change not change format, but we just we're all about just more just hanging out. You know, like. It's just, I mean, a year straight of doing interviews with everybody, which was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, and then, I mean, never had a bad one or anything. It's just like, I just ran out of like. I don't want to talk to anybody talk anymore. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. like, we'll just do our I'd rather own thing. have on everyone that was just like so much fun to, to hang out with. And, and now we just shoot the shit, you know, like, it's just like, I mean, yeah, we'll talk about all the stuff we did do. We went, we went to, um. Crypticon this year. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah that's right. That. I thought I saw yeah. uh, saw some Twitter posts or something. From yeah. Oh yeah, or, yeah. Or Facebook or Twitter? I can't remember. Yeah, probably Twitter. But uh, when? Yeah, when was that? That was in. Um, that was in August. August. Yeah. Oh wait, no, oh, September. Was? September. Yeah. Oh, September. it was a blast. Right. Yeah, it was, was it a cool? blast, man. Yeah, we saw there was uh <laughs> There's some pretty good speakers there. They had uh they had Cliff Barrickman from uh Finding Bigfoot. They or or may, maybe not or one of those Sasquatch shows. Yeah, no, it's uh, Finding Bigfoot. It's Finding yeah, yeah and they had uh they had Travis Walton did a speech, uh David Politis. Like they had they had some good good speakers there. It's a good yeah, time. that's cool. Did you see um Andy McGrath out there? Andy uh, McGrath. British British uh hmm. Beast of Britain guy. Was he at that one? Oh, I know he was, I know he hmm. he did a. He did a couple of them, but um, I don't anyway. think he was. Yeah, that might have been been a different one. I'm thinking. Yeah, dude, there's so, there's so many of those cryptozoology yeah, cons dude. going on. Yeah, I know Man. he did one like up in Maine. You know, I think he yeah. might have did another one. Uh, there was actually a tweet about uh, CryptidCon. You know, they're like, "Hey, who would you like to see speak at, at uh, CryptidCon?" And I totally threw your name out there, Denver. I was like, "Let's yeah. get Den- let's get Denver Michaels uh, speaking up there." Nobody wants to see me speak, man. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> no way. Uh, well, it, it was actually yeah. You never. I, that was the first time I. Well, I'm me and well, it was the first time uh, Grim and myself met in person, and you know, and then, uh, but at the same time, it was. A bolt, our first times going to like a comp that type of conference yeah. vibe, you know, like which was interesting. Uh, I, yeah, it, I don't know, it was a lot of fun, yeah, all just about hanging out. We had a lot bunch of people that you know, our friends and listeners, and like, there we had a pretty decent, like, little group of people. Hey, there's like eight of us there, <laughs> yeah, oh, cool. and yeah. then we met like a bunch of more cool people, like from yeah. all over the place, uh, and like MJ Dickinson. Yeah. Th- yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, she does like a paranormal. Um, what's her show? show uh, the sage, oh. sage, the sage paracon sage. in the UK. She does. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, man, she runs the whole yeah. Thing. yeah. It was, it was a good time, man. Just got, Kentucky, right? Yeah. It was in Frankfurt, Kentucky. Frankfurt. Mm-hmm. I've yep. never been to Frankfurt. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So how is Frankfurt? <laughs> it's yeah. it's there somewhere on the <laughs> northeastern yeah. side. Lots of, of hills, Kentucky. lots yeah. of hills, man. You, you get you get going down low, and your ears are popping and shit. And you know, it's, it's, I'm not I'm not used to the mountains. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're all about yeah. those mountains, Denver. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, we got a lot of mountains out where I'm at. I kind of grew up in the mountains, so yeah, it's, it's uh, I kind of like it. Yeah, I went up to um, in November. I went to the uh, Alien Con in Baltimore. That oh, was okay, funny. yeah, they had a lot oh, of people that, up that there. The, you watch any History Channel? Or anything, yeah, okay. All yeah. commercials and everything. Oh. Yeah, it was pretty. <laughs> Man, that was it was a good time. I only went for one day. Um, you know, the wife and I went up there for uh, for the Friday session, but yeah, it was a lot of fun, man. I kind of um, yeah, I definitely could go back if it's you know since within reasonable driving distance. I don't right. I don't know that I would like you know like fly out to it and you know yeah we drove exactly that's awesome. that's exactly yeah. why we went to Cryptid Con because it was, in, it was within like driving four distance, four and a half yep. hours, and yep. yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, for me, like Baltimore is like a two-hour drive. So oh yeah, that's like, not bad at all. Yeah, you know, man. So uh, so take me through kind of like what went down there. Did you go to like it was it like a sit-down thing? Did you were was there presenters and speakers? Yeah. So there were uh, so there were like I think during the day there were like three panels, and then at the end of the day uh-huh. there was um, you know, there was a like a panel for um. I guess your gold star pass people. You know, I just <laughs> yeah. you know, got the cheapest. Your five hundred dollar meet and greet. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, no, nah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do the cheapest, uh, cheapest eat lunch pass. with George Nori. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, yeah, so you know, you just get there, and they had, you know, I was kind of surprised. Like uh, they had, they call it a marketplace, but really, you know, Baltimore Convention Center. They just, you know, had just this wide. Yeah, you know, it's just wide open, almost like a warehouse. Like the car like, show. Yeah, like yeah. Uh, just all the vendors and everything. And um, mm-hmm. there were, you know, so like the vendors, um, you know, you had a lot of your like kind of celebrities and uh, talking heads from the shows, yep. uh, ancient alien show, you know, just kind of out there with booths set up in the middle of the rest of the vendors. So it was kind of cool, you know. Um, and actually – um, I don't know if y'all are familiar, but uh, Jeffrey uh, Meldrum, the uh, the, the Sasquatch, yep, yep. Uh, yeah. So he had a booth set up there, so I, I got to meet him and oh, talk nice. to him for a few minutes. So I was kind of steamed up for that, you know. That was, that was pretty cool. Well, yeah, he's like <laughs> the only one that's actually doing serious scientific research. I feel like he's he's legitimate. Like you, when yeah, you no, hear- he's, he's legit. I mean, <laughs> yeah. he's, he's not a jackass. That's good. He, he yes, knows, exactly. He knows what he's doing, and he had um. I forget the guy's name that was with him, but uh, anyway, they had a booth set up um, at, for the Sasquatch Syndicate. They've got a you know podcast website and and all that stuff. So you know, um, I bought a couple T-shirts from those guys, and uh, you know, they had uh, had some pretty good cast um, you know there on display. Right. And, uh, okay. and I actually talked to Doctor Meldrum for a few minutes. Um, you know, like trying to get his take. Uh, you know, I'm sure that you guys are kind of familiar with uh, how there's all these dog men reports these days. Yeah, you know? yeah. So I, feel, I, it, I, I it, kind it of could... wanted to just pick his brain for a couple of minutes on that and see what he thought. And, um, you know, so it was pretty cool. It was, it was a good time. Well, what did he have to say about Dogman? Because I'm I'm curious about that. Because, dude, Dogman, I feel well, just kind of it, it kind of muddies the waters a little bit. Yeah. Um. So I kind of I didn't really throw any of my stupid theories out there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I just kind of I, I didn't want to be like, so do you agree with me that uh, Dogman yeah. is this or that? You know, I just was just kind of like, so you know, tell me, like, uh, what do you think of of of, uh, of Dogman? And you know, he just he kind of he kind of got sidetracked on, um, you know, talking about like the Rougarou tales, you know, from down in Louisiana and, um, you know, kind of, kind of like a, were- kind of like a local, uh, werewolf, uh, type folklore down there and things like that. But, uh, mm-hmm. kind of the thing that he hammered on was like, you know, it's like, we have Bigfoot tracks, you know, like, 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 here you go. It's like, mm-hmm. We don't have dog man. Tracks. No, no, there's no evidence and, of dog man except anecdotal people see it. Yeah, you know? yeah. And, um, you know, I mean, there are a lot of sightings and stuff and you, you know, you don't want to really, you know, like dismiss it or anything, but, um, you know, he's just kind of like, and so I'm, I just kind of asked him, well, do you think maybe, you know, like one of the things I've heard is, um, you know, maybe the, a lot of the dog men reports are, um, 
you know, like mistaken Sasquatches, you know, mm-hmm. almost. And, and he's just kind of like, Sasquatch. <laughs> he, he just kind of like, eh, it didn't really answer me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eh, kind of like did his mouth like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, so, you know, I don't want to put words in his mouth, but he's not really, He's not high on the whole dog men thing. I'll I'll just say that. And, yeah. and, and like as for as far as myself goes, I mean I'm I've always thought that dog man. If I, it's not. I don't think there there's a you know. I mean as far as the physiology goes, right? Like uh, like like a a dog like creature that big, like seven eight feet tall, walking on like dog legs. I mean that doesn't work, you know, physically. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh-huh. I don't dismiss all the reports altogether, but I think it's something either misidentified or maybe, you know, something more kind of in the paranormal, like yeah, woo type stuff, you know, like maybe app- apparitions or interdimensional uh, type thing. Like, I mean, what about it? Like, I'm sure you've heard of like Skinwalker, you know, where they're mm-hmm. like shapeshifter kind of deal, you know, like. Yeah, I mean, maybe something like that, but I mean, I don't really know that. As far as shape, I, I don't really believe in, in shape shifters either. I believe, you know, maybe some sort of um, interdimensional type entity, maybe. I mean, I don't, yeah. I don't even know how you'd prove something like that. But Yeah, I mean, that's but, impossible. I mean, I'm open to it, I guess. Well, I mean, yeah, how do you prove an interdimensional being? Yeah, y- yeah exactly. <laughs> you know, but, uh-huh. you know, so I didn't really throw out my interdimensional hypothesis to Dr. Melvin. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to be called security or anything. <laughs> Because <laughs> you know he's a serious guy, and I don't want to be like. So, what do you think of these these weird ideas that I have? <laughs> it was funny. Out of all the people we actually went and chatted with, like you could have went up to a lot of these guys at, at CryptoCon, and we end up like bullshitting and hey, hanging out for whatever ten minutes or so with freaking Travis Walton because oh, he, cool. he's very approachable. Is he? And, that's uh, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually, you know that movie Fire in the Sky. That's like yeah. one of my that's like probably a, either a one, maybe a two seed in my favorite movie bracket. I love <laughs> yeah, it's it's great. And he went over like uh, a, the whole um, you know filming of that and what really you know some differences of what happened and what didn't happen. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I've read the book too. I mean, okay. you know, I mean, you know that the movie's embellished a lot, but it's sure, uh, you know, but it's 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 got a little bit of you know what happened in it. It's just yeah really a great um you know really a great film i thought i I think it came out like 93 or something and i mean i was just a few years out of high school i was just like whoa you know (laughs) i I took great notes from from his speech man yeah i have i have like all these guys travis walton uh oh the uh oh who's this um Oh, the missing four. Yeah, David Polita stuff. Uh, oh, the fairies missing legends one. Um, that was pretty cool. That was uh, okay, probably a pretty cool talk. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, it was about fairy rings and stuff, and uh, yeah, which which I mean, there's a lot of similarities with that, and like the, you know, like uh, where UFOs purportedly land and things like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was Ronald Murphy the manifestation? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, I met him. I've not met him in person, but him and I were on the same um, on a, on a mm-hmm. show together one time. The existence of strange things. We were both on the same uh, same program one time, and just, you know, kind of shooting the shit like we're doing. Did you, you meant was that Andrew McGrath? Is that the one? Yeah, yeah, Andrew yeah. He McGrath. was there. He, he well, talked right after I, him. I thought he was there, but I wasn't yeah. sure if it was that one. Yeah, yeah. He, he's I didn't a, hear him though. He's a pretty cool guy. All right. Well, just let's welcome to the show uh, Felix and uh, Jerry. Just popped in here. Hi, guys. Holy shit. Hey, what's yeah, going on? Switch over. What's, what's up, up, guys? Yeah. Denver, yeah, Denver. this is uh, Denver. Looking this is Felix, a.k.a. Cliff Wall, and Jerry. Yeah. Nice to meet Hold you. On. Nice to meet you. Live long and prosper. <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah, actually, uh, Jerry was with us there at the con- conference. Uh, yeah, I was. Yep. <laughs> it, 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 uh-huh. uh-huh. I'm trying to get them to come down for Paramania. Oh, Paramania will be pretty sweet. What did you? I uh, mean, I still got to listen to that Greg Bishop. Did he mention? Did you talk about Paramania with him at all? Yeah, we did. Oh, nice. Um, 
Yeah, he's going to be there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. That'll be good. And Josh and Tim Banal <laughs> and a couple other people. It's all cryptid people. Oh. That's excellent. Yeah, that'll be a good time. <clears throat> good times. <clears throat> Man. So, so what? Are you doing like an interview? Is this a hangout? Or oh, we're, just, we're hanging hang out. out and we're just going over stuff. We're just hanging out, talking about uh, uh, Denver made it up to that alien con. You know that that um at Roswell. That no, it's up. Oh, it was in Baltimore, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the one that was put on by History Channel. If you, you ever saw the commercials for all that with Sukalos and all them dudes, you know. No, like, I don't yeah. have that channel. I don't have any channel. <laughs> I don't. <have. laughs> cut, cut the cord. <laughs> yes, I cut, cut the cord. <laughs> yep. Hey, Suzanne wanted to come. Is that? Yeah, I, I thought I saw her pop in for a second before I could even say hi. Oh, she left. She <laughs> so, yeah, tell her, tell she her to come did. back. She, she can yeah. hang out. She thought you were interviewing somebody. Oh, oh, yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> it's it's always a round table now. It's Honest, she's going to have the best questions out of the, out of all of us. <laughs> out of you two, at least. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> <sighs> um Felix, what do you think about uh Dogman? Dogman, I don't know much about Dogman, but uh on that recent um OBDM, he mentioned Elkhorn, Wisconsin being a place where the oh, shit. the Dogman uh appeared. Isn't and that where like Dandy Don Garlet is from? Elkhorn? Yeah. Well he's pronouncing it the Elkhorn. Drag yeah. <laughs> but uh that, that's like probably about uh 15 miles from or 15 or 20 miles from my hometown so oh, man. that's pretty weird to hear that and i never even ne- never heard that wasn't yeah. the isn't the uh what is that the bray road beast isn't that up in wisconsin Bray, yeah bray spray bauer I, it's something he said I, Bra- I don't know, yeah so. i didn't huh. look into it but it was interesting to hear that's where alpine valley is right a couple, I, couple I just miles off of it. I want to take a second to welcome Suzanne to the show. Hey, hey, Suzanne, how you doing? Hi, good. How are you? Woo. Wonderful. Now it's a party. Now it's a party. <laughs> it's a six <laughs> pack. It's a full blown six pack now. <laughs> I lived in Chicago. I lived in Chicago for thirty years. I never went to Alpine Valley. Alpine I was Valley. A, I was a snowboard instructor at Alpine Valley in uh, Chesterland, Ohio. James, what haven't you done? Yeah, <laughs> a ton of stuff, but I've done a lot of stuff too. Yeah, sex <laughs> work, <laughs> landscaping, painting I, cars. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm the all. jack of all of uh, Gra- of graphic all design. Of yeah, <clears throat> rock band. band. He's multi-dimensional. Multi-dimensional, yes. Yeah, inter yeah. interdimensional. Inter, yes. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> no, I, uh, I just, I don't know. I, I don't do much anymore, but uh, yeah, I did a lot. <laughs> and, uh, and now I know a lot more about vampires for sure. Yes. <laughs> I don't know, you, James. Or... I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure there's a sound. I don't that... know a lot about the whole vampire stuff. <laughs> like, I mean, I know it's a thing. <laughs> yeah, like, it's the ether. <laughs> vampires are a thing in the ether. No doubt about it. Oh my God. That's uh, one of my favorites. Denver, that's a good one. Uh, any like like dire bats or where like uh, vampire D- dire bats? Just- <laughs> yeah, yeah, like crazy bat. You know, like crazy D and freaking cryptids. <laughs> what is a bloodsucker one? The chupacabra is that a bloodsucker? Yeah, the chupacabra is uh, so allegedly is a uh, goat sucker sucks the blood out of goats but as far as uh <laughs> like a giant possum what about that stick person thing stick person slender looking man. thing Ooh. Slender man. oh slender man slender man no it's not slender no. man oh. it praying looks mantis like a- man praying mantis guy oh, stick- <laughs> no it's not a dude? bug it, it's not a bug. Okay. Uh-uh. Um, a stick. It, I'm 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 it, hitting up the Googles right now. Yeah. Black stick man. Yeah, black stick no, man. I think it's white. What? It was white and it was like oh, a you're, uh, laffy fucking taffy, racist. Laffy taffy guy. <laughs> <laughs> Gumby. <laughs> <laughs> laffy taffy guy. <laughs> oh, man. I think I heard it like on a Sasquatch Central. One wow. where they were talking about they saw this 
or maybe it was a broom person or like a stick. <laughs> it was some type of sticker broom type person. You and were high and watch it. Fantasia. I was. <laughs> Fantasia? <laughs> Fantasia. Fantasia. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, you guys, uh, was you, it go Gogurt guy? Go <laughs> <Gogurt> guy. <laughs> 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 there's the that scene in uh there's that the inflatable fun <laughs> family <Yeah. laughs> there's that scene in fantasia with that giant like demon that's on top of that fucking oh. castle summoning all those spirits and stuff out of the city that's walt disney yeah right exactly <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> walt's the demon <laughs> i forgot who i heard talking about it but um i think walt was the good one roy was the bad one the bad influence roy roy disney yeah Roy Disney was like, who is Roy guy. Disney? This is Walt's <laughs> brother. Walt's brother. They, oh brother, man, but, like, this Walt is... had his. You know, his name was up front, but Roy ran the business. Oh, jeez. Oh, there was a Roy Disney. Hmm? <laughs> is he like the guy out there, like purchasing, his, purchasing up like half of Florida, like Southern or uh, Mid Florida, all of it? <laughs> I don't know who did that. Yeah, but, but yeah, he would be that guy. Oh, Walt looked after his parents and everything, well, but he was his also, mom died in a fire or something. I don't know. Sacrifice. I think his parents died tragically. What? Sacrifice. Yeah. Been sacrificial fire. It was. I'm kidding. Well, I think his mom died in a fire, and he always blamed himself. I think it was a water heater or something. <laughs> yeah, he, so he had to. He had to open an amusement park to save her. Exactly. It's one thing I haven't done. I've never worked at an amusement park. You don't want to do that, James. I mean, I'm close to Cedar Point, which would have been epic. <laughs> yeah. Um. Man, stick man. That's a that's an yeah. interesting. Uh, Denver, what kind of research are you doing lately? What are you digging deep into? Yeah, well, right now I'm working on a book. Um, it's for it's kind of more kind of like local stuff. Um, mm-hmm. uh, uh, if you've ever seen any of those haunted America series books, you know, yeah. um, I'm, I'm doing one of those. So I've been, I've been plugging away at one of those, um, you know, a lot of the, uh, ghost stories and things like that locally. That's, that's kind of what I've been working on mostly lately, but you know, I mean, I'm always, you know, getting cryptid reports and yeah. weird like that. I mean, any kind of legitimacy to those, uh, hauntings around you? Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, you know, some of them sound kind of crazy, but, um, you know, a lot of the stories that I get, I, you know, try to check them out as much as I can, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, there's like one that there's, um, it's like this patch of, uh, supposedly haunted woods and, um, you know, like supposedly you could hear, uh, like piano music, like around midnight and, oh, um, man. you know, so, yeah, I, like, so I, I went over there one night and, and I didn't really, I don't, I don't know why I didn't really document it and set cameras up or anything. Cause it's kind of like off, off this little back road and, um, you know, there's like farms and stuff all around. So, you know, <laughs> it's kind of awkward, you know, like, like, you know, somebody drives up to you and you, you know, you're like, yeah, 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 up, exactly. you know, like 1145 on a, you know, at night. All of a sudden I hear Beethoven. Yeah. But anyway, so like, uh, you know, my son was with me. He's, um, he's 19. So, okay. we, you know, so he, he, he kind of accompanies me on, on some of these things. So, you know, and, and, and my wife, she drove, so she's, you know, like sitting in the car, but anyway, so it's, it's like a summer night and, you know, it's, you know, hot and humid, the lightning bugs are out and all that stuff. And it's like right around midnight. And, and I'm not kidding. It's like, like this little breeze blew all the lightning bugs stopped flashing. Oh. And then all of a sudden, you know, you just hear like, dong, 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 dong. It's, you know, just like real, it's just like, wow. like these real t- low tones. And I'm like, you know, me and my son looked at each other like, oh, <laughs> shit, did you hear that? And he's like, yeah. It's like, no, that happened. That happened. You know, and, I mean, even if I would have had like my phone out recording it, you couldn't have really heard it anyway. You know, it's just like, it's like real low, but you know, yeah. that's one of the stories. And I mean, it was, um, it happened. I mean, I've been back a couple times. I've, I've been there like three times and it happened once. So it's, it's like really hit or miss. And, 
you know, truth be told, I mean, maybe there's some kind of, you know, natural explanation, who knows, but I mean, right. it, it just like, freaks you the hell out. Like, cause like when all the lightning bugs quit flashing and like right after this little wind blows and, you know, you, you just can't hear anything. And, and it was just really freaky, man. Uh, so yeah, that, that's, well, that's like one of the stories that I actually kind of checked out. Yeah. You'd be like, <laughs> it's just like that. <laughs> just take off. <laughs> Yeah, but there's um there's a lot of those you know weird kind of stories around there because um you know it's in uh, northwestern Virginia where there's just like all these you just like that whole area there's just like tons of um you know civil war activity you know oh, and so yeah. you, you get a lot of those uh, you know phantom soldier type reports and yeah. and really like there's just all these old antebellum homes everywhere. Oh. And so, you know, I mean, I pretty much think that any house that's like a hundred years old, I mean, regardless, there's, just oh, there's, like there's definitely some energy kind of in weird there. stuff and you know right. what I'm saying? Just, just from, just from people living there and just all that energy and whatever. And, um, but there's just like all these, um, old, uh, homes and, and, you know, like a great many of them were, uh, like makeshift hospitals and stuff during mm-hmm. the war. So you just get oh, a lot of deaths going on. Yeah. You just get a lot of those uh, reports. There, there was like, a couple people that died during the Civil War. Yeah. Or, yeah. or died, or there's, you know, that, um, <laughs> you know, like this room, you know, was the, uh, amputation room. <laughs> right. Yeah. This is a triage center. You got legs, yeah, you got exactly. a head, head wound. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And there's just like all these homes, just like all over the region that, you know, there's just these reports that, you know, people tell you is like, you know, man, you drive through there, at, you know, late at night, you can hear screams and, man. you know, um, you know, you can see soldiers like crossing the river, you yeah, you know, just all all kinds of these weird things, and um, there's a, a lot of uh, you know fun stories to check out. Actually, we talked to well, one of the girls uh, we met uh, that MJ Dixon. Uh, how do you say her last name? No, you said Dickens? it right, Dixon. Dixon. Yeah, Dixon. Yeah. Uh, well, we became friends with her, and then we had her on the show a little while ago. It was right at, right before Halloween, I think, and because uh, yeah, because they were getting ready to have that event, I think. Uh, or she was having a party or something, but, uh, anyway, uh, but she's really into the paranormal aspect and just these hardcore events, whether it be trauma based, any kind of trauma, really. I mean, how these things just get imprinted in that area for X amount of time, you know, like yeah, what, what, whether, whether it was abuse to uh, someone dying, you know, like, I mean, it, it, it could, it could be that hardcore, mm-hmm. um, you know, these, I don't know. It's not, I don't want to say evil, but just, just the, uh, a heavy based trauma event, yeah. traumatic event. <laughs> yeah. That, that seems to really like, like trigger a lot of these uh, sightings and things. And, yeah. Uh, and there's even like this one, uh, this one place that, that's going to be in the book. It's just, it's just this little church. It's just this little white uh, dilapidated church. I don't even know like when the last service was in it. Cause it's like been oh, wow. up for a long time, but um, you know, there's still caretakers that, you know, occasionally, you know, come around and Creepy. You know, eat around the place. <laughs> and, and, you know, there's a cemetery there and, um, and this place, man, I mean, it's like, it's like scary to go. You went to this? Uh, yeah. This, yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, I can't say that anything in particular really happened. No, I know? mean, like, yeah. So you're like, what is, the, were you able to, I mean, obviously you could see headstones, gravestones. Like, was there like, how far back did you see like date wise, maybe like. Oh, um, back into the, um early 1800s and and, and in this cemetery (laughs) and and the weird thing about it so you know like like a lot of these old um churches you know you got your cemetery around them i mean that's pretty normal but this one you've got like graves going this way you got great it's just these graves are just all the the way they're laid out it's just all haphazardly and then you got this section of graves over here that's like i mean they, they got like 
trees growing around them and everything but then you got some more recent graves that are you know kind of taken care of but then you've got like tons of um like infant graves and stuff in there too and and some of them are so old you know you can't really see the date on them because they're you know the they're so weathered you know Mm -hmm. and um Mm -hmm. He, it's just really cre- you know i can't say that oh i saw this or i saw that but it's one of those things man that like you just kind of like you know if you're there like l- late at night you know you turn <laughs> your flashlight off or whatever just like just so scared <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever play uh ghosts in the graveyard like real graveyard no like growing up no yeah, well i mean i guess you had to live close to one for one yeah. to do that but uh yeah, we've I, I played it in a graveyard when I was yeah. like yeah. <laughs> maybe ten or eight or something like that. Yeah, oh, we yeah. used to ride our bikes there, like because we I used to stay at a like I say babysitter, but the, you know that was it'd be like after school care these days instead of a baby. But so I there was like eight of us that stayed at my, the sitter's place or whatever, and then. And they always had tons of bikes, so we'd take the bikes and we'd ride. It was like a maybe an eight minute bike ride. It wasn't anything crazy back then. You could ride for hours and not get yelled at for doing it, you know. But so yeah, you Kate went down. We went. We it was like a couple blocks down the road. We went, man. It was like one time we were there till like seven, you know, and that was like late, <laughs> like for us back then. But uh, it, uh. And you know it's kind of foggy, a little you know, a little weird out, you know, a little dewy and shit. And uh, playing in uh, in the graveyard, with, I think it was more of you know being that young, be, you know, like a little heightened of a creep level. But <clears throat> I'm I'm 44, man, and I I was just like, you know, me and my son were walking walking around, had our flashlights off, and got down. And then it's like all real dark woods, you know, and then, you know, he just, he just looked at me and he's like, I don't want to go down there anymore. And I'm, I'm like, I'm glad you said that. I don't either. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. But, you know, nothing really happened. It's just, it just creeped me. It's just creepy. So, you know, it's like, you just kind of wonder like why, like, and then even up around the church, not even in the graveyard, it's like, why is this church so scary? You know, like what the heck mm-hmm. happened here back then? And, you know, you don't really get any stories of anything that really happened there, but you just get all these stories of people like seeing things around there and, and stuff like that. It's kind of weird. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I wonder if that almost front loads you like hearing all that information about things yeah. that did happen. Then you go there and then almost you manifest something on your own by being Probably. there. Maybe. Yeah, you know, expectation. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. The power huh. of suggestion or whatever. Oh, dude, I, I think that our minds create 90% of the shit. <laughs> just, just, you know, I, yeah. We live in a weird world, but I think humans are the weirdest part of it. <laughs> I wouldn't disagree with that. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw a dog, man. Well, it's, it's never known, <laughs> he explains it there. Well, we 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 talk about the whole Bigfoot thing and just how we were talking about it last night. Uh, and you know, some people definitely don't believe in it, but like, uh, how at one point there might have been these sightings and these 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 prints and uh, you know, <laughs> originally. Maybe even, I mean, I think Bigfoot sightings go back pretty far, oh, uh, yeah. and, and so it might have been, you know, though that type of humanoid slash ape slash whatever, you know, this type of being existed at one point. You know, that's tough too because where's the bones? But like, um, oh, they probably do have them, don't they? Uh, <laughs> some some places probably have them, but anyway, um. And just the power of creating the tulpa of the existence and uh, far beyond I don't know, um, continued existence of Bigfoot. 
Mm. Yeah, I mean, that's that's probably, I mean, and that might even be what you're seeing a lot with dog men because <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, go, you go back 10 years. I mean, you know, there was the beast of Bray Road, Bray Road yeah. you mm. know, and there were, you know, werewolf legends, you know, there was the Rougarou, things like that. But you did not have 500 dog man sightings in Pennsylvania. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You didn't, you didn't have them, you know, like down here where I live and um, things like that. I mean, you know, maybe once in a while. But, I mean, it was like, you know, very rare. You know, you just had, you know, mainly like up in Michigan, Wisconsin, things like that. But now they're everywhere. And so you have to wonder, I mean, if – you know, maybe something like that's possible, you know? Yeah. I you know the possible, yeah, the, you, yeah. You factor in the real chance of possibility into these things, which that that's what really floors you. Yeah. Cause then you have to like take said person's word on what they saw. And then, 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 then you have these groups like MUFON and this and that, that kind of give you like this checklist to go over to ask, you know, said uh, a person to you know, like what they, re- you know, can you recount this and what they saw, you know, uh, you know, how many drinks did you have? Yeah. Uh, how many, you know, like, you know, what was your mental state at the time? Yeah. And that, yeah. So I don't know. I think there's, there's something to that. And I, and I don't, you know, the, yeah, the, the whole checklist thing, I don't even know if that's front loading you, you know, like, you knew you saw something in the first place and then how do you explain it? I don't know. Like, and then by front loading you by, okay, so it was this tall, you know, and, and the, maybe, I don't know, maybe you can confuse things. Maybe you were in a state of were shock, you nauseous, were nauseous, you get a headache afterwards. Yeah. Shit like that is what front loads you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, maybe I did and have a headache be, and then they say that used to be part of the move on questionnaire. Yeah, because I'm like, you, if you ever saw one of those, yeah, the, the questions are just weird and wild. I mean, I guess because they want to get different angles of approach to figure out if you were telling the truth or not. But I've been interviewed by the truth, him. But. I, I, had a re- I reported something, and then I got a call back from the regional director. Did you have to do one then? Sort of, kind of? Like, I did, but I don't remember yeah. those questions. Yeah, so, right. You know, he wanted to know what I, what I saw when where how you know all that oh, okay and yeah. what i it thought was, uh, it was 12 o'clock at night yeah and it was yeah, yeah. Okay. and then he wanted to know what i thought it was okay interesting yeah Very i don't know how you do that for well there isn't there a cryptid one where you can report stuff well I, you, can, you can report to um you know the uh bigfoot uh field researchers organization yes, okay uh, yeah uh, you know that that's um and then you know of course there's you know, there's like local groups and online groups. Uh, National Cryptid Society is kind of new, but they uh, they take reports and things like that. Or, you know, you can tell me if you want. You yeah. know, I get people, you know, send me stuff all the uh-huh. time. And a lot of times they don't want to make like a formal report with, uh, you know, BFRO or, or this or that. They just kind of like, like, hey, I saw this. I'm not crazy, you know, I, you know, kind of like, I just want somebody to listen to me, you know, kind of thing. And so of course. I, I like to, you know, kind of hear people out and, you know, hear, you know, hear, hear what they uh, have to say about that stuff. Yeah. That's actually one of the, our, um, uh, you mentioned the beast of Bray road and that was, uh, small town monsters. Um, what's his Yeah. Name? Yeah. he they had the screening there of uh, that beast of Bray Road, yeah. uh, which I didn't see, but I know about it. I know all about that. I've uh, not watched it yet. I watched yeah. it. the last one I watched was the uh, Flatwoods Monster one, but I've not yeah. watched the uh, beast yeah. of Bray Road one yet. I, I plan to. It's just you know. Yeah, this whole thing was uh, you know sponsored by Jim Beam. Yeah, dude, that uh, <laughs> that Flatwoods Monster one was pretty good. I watched that one the other week. It's uh, it's on Amazon Prime for free. Which one? Uh, the Flatwoods Monsters, Small Town Monsters. Oh, oh no way! Okay. Oh, it's yeah. free. Yeah, it's free on or well, uh, if you're a, a Prime I subscriber, like two ninety nine for it or whatever. But yeah, whatever. It's it's not very expensive. But, uh, 
Or they might, you know, they, that stuff changes all the time. Oh, exactly. Yep. But yeah, Seth, Seth Breedlove, he does really good work. Like I like, yeah, I like yeah. how he goes about just telling the stories, everything. He does a good yeah. job. I'll try to get him on one of these days. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. He'd probably be able. I mean, he seemed all right when we talked to him. Um, <laughs> was, was he at the Cryptic Yeah. yeah, yeah I was, was going to say, you should have asked him why you were there. Yeah, I sure. did ask him. He said he'd come on. So, yeah, he know. probably will. We could probably get him on then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, like everybody he talked to, he said, oh, fuck, yeah, dude, welcome. On. <laughs> so, are the breed loves that one of the Illuminati families? <laughs> I don't know. No, that's a good question. I don't know. He's he's. I know he's from Southern Ohio. That's all I know. Yeah. <laughs> or no, he's actually from up here. Yeah, because we were talking about. Uh, oh no, it was the um, Monsters Among Us podcast. Uh, I can't remember yeah. the name off the top of my head. Derek. Uh, yeah, Derek, it's Derek, right? it's Derek something, yeah. Right. So hey, talk, yeah, yeah, talking to him for a while, and yeah. uh, we were because he knew like the area I lived because I don't know his wife or something. Something was from here. I don't know, or he was from here, but he lives out in out like California, right? You know, like up there. Um, but he's got. They have a. Uh, it's called like cryptid crate, where it's like every you know how you uh, get the you know how. Like Jerry has a uh, like what's the t-shirt one dude? A uh, loot crate. Loot crate. Wow. Yeah, like where every month you'll get like a little sampler of something. Well, he does one that's called Cryptid Crate. So every month you get like a cryptid type relatable items or whatever. Yeah. He put one of my books uh, one month. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I think last December he put my uh, Lake Monsters book in the Cryptid Crate. Oh, no way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was pretty good. It's like a, I sent him like 135 I, books or something. Didn't he, I think he just came out. Didn't you come out with another one after the lake one? Did you come out with another one? Oh yeah, yeah. I've, yeah, I've, I've had several. But oh my god. Oh no. Yeah, okay. Wait. So then, damn. What are the? I must be track. I'm I'm lacking then. Uh. So uh. Well, what's the last one you did? Uh, the last one I did. Um. It's called Detours into the Paranormal Atlantic oh. City Road Trip. And that's kind of like just okay. a little trip like from my house here in Virginia to Atlantic City. And I kind of point out all the oh, okay. paranormal hot spots, all the little cryptids, things like that along the way. It's just, yeah, just kind of light reading, just kind of um, kind of a fun mix of uh, like, you know, history and, uh, you know, cryptids and few ghost stories mixed in things like that that's always cool you're always like you know as you're, as you're passing through from town to town you know yeah, yeah. That, that's that's kind of the yeah. point like you yeah. know when, when i you know when i travel and stuff I always try to um do a little research beforehand and find out um you know <laughs> there's a cool little uh place that there was a monster sighting or things like that and try to go visit or um you know yeah just kind of stuff like that World's largest ball of yarn. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sort of thing. That's <laughs> That's Mark Griswold of uh, yes. Griswold. Oh, yeah. You know who made that ball of yarn was Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he rolled that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, oh, man. Yeah, no, that book, um, you know, there's, there's some cryptids that are... Uh, you know, kind of like the uh, a snarly owl. It's like a, a black phantom dog that um, you know, oh. hangs out over in uh, Maryland and the eastern panhandle of West Virginia. It's uh, one of these creatures. It's just like it's just like a ghost dog. It's um, uh, you know, probably like the size of a wolf. But there's been reports of um, you know, like running out in front of people's cars and they seemingly hit it, but their car passes right through. Whoa. They turn around and look through their uh, back glass and it's standing in the middle of the road. And uh, <laughs> you know, it goes way back to, um, you know, even like in the 1800s, um, you know, it would supposedly like come out in the, in the road and, you know, scare travelers on horses and things. And, you know, people would shoot at it and bullets would, pass right through it it's uh you know kind of entrenched in the uh, local uh, folklore and uh, yeah. you know uh, uh 
say say uh, mid mid middle of Maryland and uh, Panhandle, West Virginia. Damn. But that's that's I like mean, a I lot think of them. up here. I mean, I think there has been. I mean, I'm well, I'm really close up to Lake Erie. I'm only a couple hundred yards off of it, but just in up in northern Ohio, I mean, there's been some Bigfoot reports. There's been I don't know about the dog man stuff. I haven't really looked into that around. I'm sure this there's area. been there's yeah. been dog men are everywhere now, suppose. <laughs> there's one in every town. Yeah, <laughs> supposedly, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's, like, a, it's a dog dog eat dog man world. <laughs> 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 dog manny dog world yeah, but there's you know and then uh man on dog man man on dog man <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. <clears throat> but there's uh yeah there's 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 all kinds I'm, I'm sure up where you're at there's uh all kinds of like little local type cryptids that uh, or, or just like one off reports. That, I would uh, I'd like to know if yeah. there was in like in Lake Erie itself. I mean, not that like, I mean, it, obviously Lake Erie is massive, but like, uh, you know, body of water, but uh, like if there was any, <laughs> there used to be this, uh, uh, when you made actually I talked about Cedar Point earlier, and I, I used you, and when I was growing up, you used to make your way on uh, route route two. I was, it traveled along the lake, going to Cedar, Sandusky, Ohio, and uh, there was this Sandusky Bay area, and they used to have like a uh, like a four humped like sea serpent. Mm-hmm. but it was a cutout it was like this metal cutout thing like oh, okay. like out in the middle of the water it, it was pretty cool and then it had the head and everything i always thought that was pretty pretty Wonder funny how many reports you got from, yeah uh, yeah it was just right off the highway like yeah. like oh there's that thing again you know yeah so it's kind of like how people are sticking those bigfoot cutouts out in <laughs> fields and and tree yeah. lines and stuff now yeah yeah like these have the 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 deer in the yard, you know, yeah. now it's like Bigfoot in your backyard. Yeah. Like I saw the greatest like little clip meme today. I retweeted it cause it was hilarious. It was Donald Trump, like walking back to the white house <laughs> in the same fashion as like the, 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 uh, Gimlin film or whatever. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it was the same walk, dude. It was great. It was just like, yeah. Burr, 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 burr. yeah, it's like you've never seen them in the same place at the same time, have you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was great. Yeah. I remember <laughs> that. Oh. Yeah. I, I, I always, I don't know. I, I, I'm always on the lookout for cryptid cryptid stuff. We 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 have well, I'm gonna say a segment, but I mean, whenever we kind of find something, Felix here, he's the one that does all the music and all the jingles and all the stuff for the show, and um, and he created a, a crypto zoology jingle for us one time oh, and that we use when we do yeah, because. We were doing it for a while. Like, what's the newest crypt, the cryptid news you you heard of lately? Do you like peruse the sites all the time, or you just yeah, kinda... cr- cruise the sites all the time? And um, mm-hmm. like, uh, let's see, what's the newest one I heard? Actually, um, somebody contacted me. Um, like, like near near uh, where I live here, and um, uh, you know the. It's like my my wife, one of her co-workers, anyway, you know, like like about the book I was telling you about, uh-huh. she's kind of spreading the word about that. But anyway, somebody uh, had got word to me about a sighting. It, um, it's kind of weird because it was, it was kind of like a Bigfoot sighting, but kind of like a variation almost. It was, um, so she said that it was the size of a bear but not a bear like a Bigfoot and that it was, um, but not like, um, dark in color, like your typical Bigfoot's more like tan. And another thing that was a little different was it had, um, you know, real big, uh, glowing red eyes. And the other weird thing about it was it wasn't really, it wasn't really in a, 
I mean, it was in some woods, but not like you would really think of with Bigfoot. It wasn't like in the National Forest or a National Park or, or anything like that. It was just kind of like in a little county park that, you know, maybe has like 100 acres of, of wooded land. So that was um, wow. that was kind of the newest one to me. And um, I've not got a chance to get over there yet and, you know, really check it out. But it's, it's one of those... Uh, kind of like on my list of things i need to dig into do you guys have a lot of bear sightings up by you or are there are there bears up yeah, there? yeah i mean we do and even even like in uh you know a lot of your subdivisions and things like that i mean uh you know it's like you get the occasional bear sightings and stuff mm-hmm. but the, you know she was pretty emphatic it wasn't a bear and it was it was tan you know so oh, weird uh, yeah, I mean, all we have is black bears. Uh, I mean, they can their colors can vary, but I've never seen one like tan in color. But the, yeah. Uh, yeah, the real weird thing about it is like the glowing red eyes. I mean, occasionally you'll you'll hear that in Bigfoot reports, but um, that almost um, I don't know. That's that's kind of freaky, you know. And and for it to be too, it's like kind of like on the edge of a small town. It's like in a park, and there's woods, but yeah, not really where you would, you know, like you would typically think that, you know, an area that could support a Bigfoot or something. So mm-hmm. it's, uh, it's kind of freaky, you know. Definitely. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, yeah. well, what, what, what kind of area would you need to support a Bigfoot? Like, like that's... well, I mean, to me, I guess if, if you could support a bear, you yeah. know, you could probably support a big, that's kind of the way I look at it. I don't mm-hmm. know, um, you know, you know, what other people think, but to me, if it could support a bear, it could support a Bigfoot. So, I mean, in that sense, I, I guess, yeah, one could be there. I mean, I can't really explain the, uh, I've heard of lightly colored Sasquatches, especially like in West Virginia, Kentucky, Southwestern Virginia, but, um, you know, usually they're dark in color and, and then the red eyes that, you know, just kind of glow without light hitting them is, you know, that's kind of a, makes you wonder if it's, you know, something more like in a paranormal realm than really yeah. an animal, you know, but I mean, who knows? It's just, I feel like all this stuff overlaps. It's, it's, it has yeah. to. Yeah. You don't know, you know, and that's, that's the thing. It's like a lot of the, your cryptozoology guys and gals, they, I mean, I know a lot of them that don't believe in the paranormal and, you know, get kind of pissed off if you, um, yeah. you know, just start in on the woo stuff and, yep. you know, you know, it's like, you know, I, but there's just so many things, like you said, that overlap, you get people that see big, like, like a Bigfoot. And, you know, it might have the characteristics of an animal, but then it kind of like disappears off into the woods and then there's a burst of green light. You know, I mean, you hear stuff like that all the time, you know, and it's like, you know, okay. I mean, you, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know where the line is with some of this stuff between if <laughs> it's an animal or if it's, um, you know, more something else sometimes. Well, we just have such an information overload to it. It's like you can read a book yeah. about how they're from the hollow earth or you could read a book about how they're, yeah. they're, you know, from, from they're being controlled by UFOs. Like it's, there's so much information well, by, the gray, by the grays. Yeah. By the grays. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of the, that stuff out there. Like, yeah. First they, the green light is just swamp gas. Yeah. It's like, there's all these, um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what some people <laughs> like, Bigfoots were here to, um, you know, yeah. like they're like dimensional uh, ape men. Yes, <laughs> dude. Okay, so I just was putting my. That's why I had to go real quick. I was putting my oldest son to, to bed, and he and I. And he's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "Dude, I'm talking about Bigfoot and stuff." He's like, "Yeah, you really think Bigfoot's real?" And I'm like, "Hmm, I think at one time he was real, way back when, you know. Like, I think there was some sightings of some stuff, you know, and." um but I think as the legend lives on, it grows strong. It's always growing strong. So. Yeah, man. As long as it's in people's consciousness, it's still real. Right. You're yeah. only it's <laughs> things are only not real when they're forgotten. You know. Oh, I want to believe Claus. like that poster. Exactly says. like Santa Claus. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's like Santa Claus. Yeah, it doesn't. Need, yeah, it's not going to be real if you don't believe it, right? Uh huh. Well, my brother-in-law is a professor. He works on a native, uh, on an American Indian reservation. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
here in California, up close to where Patty was filmed. And uh, apparently all eight kids in this class say that Bigfoot's real. And I love it. He believes it, or he says he believes it. Like, he believes their stories. So, yeah. um, and he's a huge skeptic. So, <laughs> I was quite shocked to hear that. Well, it's just cra- that's, that's crazy yeah. how it's like, it's not a modern phenomenon. Like, these native no. cultures have been talking think, about it for... I think in American Indian cultures, I think they all, it's, from what I read and heard it's all in like their backstory mm-hmm. yeah you know in their traditions yeah so, so much there's, with there's the something to culture. it yeah yeah i mean a lot of them are and not only that but like if you you know if you just go and um you know just go searching through old newspaper databases and stuff like i've found like tons of stories you know the term uh, bigfoot didn't really catch on to like I think like 1958, you know, when they like out in California, like in a logging camp, there was the the big track and the, Oh yeah. Yeah. When they found the foot. And then from there, you know, the Patterson Gimlin film, I think in 67, but before that, I mean, I found like a lot from, and not even from the Pacific Northwest, like from West Virginia, from North Carolina, you know, here here in the Appalachian mountains where I live. And, uh, you know, from the 1950s and things like that, uh, like early fifties, late forties. And they, just call them hairy monsters back then they, yeah, or, yeah or wild men sense. or hairy hairy man yep. i hairy found them from the 1800s yeah, and they're, and they're described you know mm-hmm. seven feet tall 400 pounds and oh. uh, you know just this you know just the, exactly the same as uh sasquatch reports and things so i mean you know you do get a lot you know you wonder how much that pop culture has an influence on all sure. this but at the same time when you go back and you know, you just find newspaper clipping after newspaper clipping, you know, pre-1955 or 1957, whatever, you know, kind of makes you think, you know. Yeah. Yep, definitely. <laughs> definitely. National what? Archives, is that what you check? Oh, I mean, whatever. You can you can look through there. Uh, I, I think I've got like a newspaper.com uh, oh, okay uh, library of congress there yeah the library of congress yeah there yeah there there's yeah. a little hard to navigate but i mean i mean you can literally if you got the patience you can just you can just pull hundreds of um yep maybe not hundreds but you know like tens yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it just depends on how much time you put into yep. it but I, I, it I depends on your wording um, I printed out just like stacks and stacks of uh-huh. these things. We're just like hairy monsters, and it's what you know, like what, what if are. the um yeah. the Bigfoots are what used to be the giants who were driven out of civil you know societies. Oh man, Oof. it could and be. They, yeah. Well, I just I, you hear a lot of just uh, the red hair. You hear a lot of the red hair. Uh, <laughs> You know, it seems yeah. like so red many of them, just, yeah, like just so many yeah, red hair giants. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I gotta relate another thing to. I, I just been, I've been playing, I've been playing Red Red Dead Redemption Two, which is a, a like a video game or whatever, <clears throat> and it's a it's set in like a Western times, like eighteen twenty three, eighteen hundred, you know, and uh, right after, and it was after the Civil War and all that, but um. Anyway, or 18, no, it would have been like 1870s, but like their dates of birth go back that far. But anyway, you come out, I'm in this mountain pass one time and I'm, I'm like, I'm traversing uh, down a path <laughs> and I come across, dude, I come across a massive skeletal structure and like the guy's like writing it down, jotting it down and everything. And then you see on the skull, I mean, the skull is huge. It's probably like the size of a basketball. And and he he wrote I think he wrote down it had to have been at least like ten feet tall or some shit you know and uh, and on the skull uh, the head itself it still had reddish hair and shit and they're putting that pretty, they're putting that in pop culture yeah. video games right now exactly like, what's up with that? yeah <laughs> there's so much in this game I can uh, I can't even keep going back into it but that was one part I was like what the hell there's a giant skeleton in a fucking mountain in do this you do game. That? Do you do screenshots when you're playing? I did. I sh- I think I shared it. That you did. You did. You posted. Crossed. You posted it in the chats. You did. <laughs> it's pretty pretty wild, dude. It's pretty cool. I'll I'll go back to the area and I'll, and I'll live stream it for you, Felix. 
Okay, soft, thank disclosure. You uh-huh. soft, soft disclosure. Soft disclosure. It's soft disclosure. Yeah, it, 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 video game from uh, from the eighteen <laughs> seventies. <1870s. laughs> yeah. Wow. I love that video game from the eighteen seventies. Yeah, yeah, that, was that, the that's, that's the first thing that made. I thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. First game uh, I ever made. It was. <laughs> You know, oh, that's kind of interesting because they didn't have, they didn't have the whole moving picture thing yet back then in this game yet. It was all um, if they did had entertainment, it was stage entertainment. You know, the amazing uh, fire eater. You know, like yeah, it was always like something like that. Yeah, which you actually do and go. You, you can go into in certain towns and and uh, what are those? Uh, those like kind of. They had like those old glasses where it would show two images and they were yes. a little off. Um, one was the one in the left eye was a little different than the one in the right eye and it made it look kind of like 3D. It was, uh, I, I, I remember watching. Um, it's kind of like uh, the, God, what's it called? The Deadwood or something. One of them shows. Uh, the pinwheel things, the like Fisher Price pinwheel things that like. Oh, the viewfinder? viewfinder. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like, kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What that's what those used to be, and they would charge money, but they used to project it onto a wall, also, or not on the wall, but like you had a projector, and they would. It was a slideshow, and it, and that's how. And like eventually, years after, years after that, then the film came out. But uh, yeah, there was a show like that, like Deadwood or something that they a guy, you know, one of these guys in these camps when they were building the railroads uh would they would show up you know it's like entertainment for the camp and the guy had a whole scheme going on with the with the viewfinder no it's viewmaster viewmaster yeah mm-hmm. viewmaster 3000 I looked, I looked up viewfinder and nothing he will came. master your view <laughs> we will master. control your view i just uh i want to give a shout out to all 15 listeners we have right now no um, way. Whoa. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for <laughs> that's, listening, that's, guys. That's uh, a skyrock. That's because yeah, we, of Grimerica hold Yeah, exactly. Right? We started a little late Grimerica <laughs> open tonight. Yeah. But uh yeah, if you want to catch the first half of the podcast, Cruise Mistake, check it out. Download the uh download the podcast. You think it'd be a good time for so, me to do my uh, musical? Yeah, man, we'll do a little intermission right here. Uh Felix sure. will do do a nice live live uh performance for us and we'll, we'll get back into some shit. <laughs> oh, you guys are tuning in right at the it's what, epic it's, what time, man. it's what we do here at cruise with steak we do this jams what we do, right <laughs> yeah we're done being nice <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no, you. you're gonna no. listen to some great music right now <laughs> <clears throat> okay no promises i only practice this a couple times and it's um time time sensitive per usual nah take your time no it's time sensitive as in like it's around this time you'll hear this oh it's oh. a Chris- it's a christmas as jam in- no way. Yep. Christmas jam? Oh, oh we're getting excellent, Felix. All right. So yeah. mute down and uh, don't uh, don't type at your keyboard uh, during my performance. Okay. You got it. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Uh, Didn't that happen last time? Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah. It totally did happen. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't remember when you screen. were playing that clip and we're page. all talking over it and shit? Yeah, because nobody could hear my clips. Yeah, there was a lot of debacles <laughs> yeah, yeah. last show, but everything worked out fine. Okay. Yeah, all it was right. all let's, good. Okay. Let's enjoy this uh, Felix jam. Are we, yeah. are we all going to mute down? Yeah, mute, mute oh, it down. Sure. And five, four. And then does Denver know the routine? Or is he already muted? Everyone's muted. He's already muted. Okay, this is just going to be a surprise jam. Um, you'll just know it when you hear it. Uh, and I only practice it a few times. And like I said, it's uh, time sensitive. So get out your uh, your snuggies, your slippers. Oh, my God, just start. Your eggnog. Okay. Oh, I got to set up a couple things. Talk for like 10 seconds. Say something interesting for 10 seconds. 10 seconds worth of interesting content. This is Cruise with Steak. Come on. Yeah. We, uh, so anyone tuning in live right now. Yeah, we are on uh, Grimerica. <laughs> uh, uh, CA slash FM. New home of anything you want to say, do, whatever. Uh, we're, we're happy to be on the uh yeah, we we should have just we should have just played ten seconds of soundboard. We could have got that going pretty good. Uh, uh, ten seconds soundboard. Uh, 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 
<laughs> it's the ether. Okay. I don't know a lot about that whole vampire stuff. Like, I mean, I know it's a thing. Just put it into the collective <laughs> it's the ether. Put it into that vision board you have when you fucking go to sleep in the dreamland. <laughs> Boom. Dreamland is where it's at. Boom. Got it. Yeah. Oh, uh, straight up. Maybe give I, me a thumb. Give me a thumbs up for guitar and uh, vocals. Uh, okay. Good. That sounds good. 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 Yeah. Thumbs up. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Good. Here we go. Here we go. Grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking home from our house Christmas Eve You can say there's no such thing as Santa But as for me and Grandpa, we believe She'd been drinking too much eggnog And we begged her not to go but she forgot her medication and she staggered out the door into the snow. When we found her Christmas morning at the scene of the attack, she had footprints on her forehead and an incriminating claw marks on her back. Grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking home from our house Christmas Eve You can say there's no such thing as Santa But as for me and Grandpa, we believe Now there, now we're all so proud of a Grandpa We're all so proud of Grandpa. He's been taking this so well. See him there watching football, drinking beer and playing cards with Uncle Mel. It's not Christmas without Grandma. All the family's dressed in black. And we just can't help but wonder, should we open up her gifts or send them back? Send them back. Go. Grandma got run over by a reindeer, walking home from her house Christmas Eve. You can say there's no such thing as Santa, but as for me and Grandpa, we believe. Now the goose is on the table And the pudding made of fig And the blue and silver candles That would just to match the hair in Grandma's wig I've warned all my friends and neighbors Better watch out for yourselves they should never give a license to a man who drives a sleigh and plays with elves. Grandma got run over by a reindeer, walking home from our house Christmas Eve. You can say there's no such thing as Santa, but as for me and Grandpa, we believe. Grandma got run over by the reindeer Walking home from our house Christmas Eve You can say there's no such thing as Santa But as for me and Grandpa, we believe Beautiful.
Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful jam, Felix. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, was, I've never heard that version in my life. That was awesome. <laughs> That was that's so the good. that's the only bird. Yeah, that's exactly oh, thank dude, you, that's Jerry. Totally <laughs> incriminating marks on my back. That's the only <laughs> the, line, the line in the song is incriminating claws marks. Yeah. Okay. Claws. It's claws marks. I said claw marks, but claws. It's, cool. claws marks. it's, it's I believe it's claws marks, from what I recall. <laughs> oh, like a pun. Claws. It was a pun, right. yeah. Okay. It's a pun. Oh, good stuff, uh, man. I uh, messed thing. up one part and I had to like hold a chord for a little longer than uh oh, yeah. you nailed it. You <laughs> nailed it. I also heard that uh Darren resurrected the the Grimerica Christmas jingle on the latest episode of Grimerica. I so. did hear it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got a trip out of that. I'm kinda uh, laughing about it. Yeah, uh, that's a classic. The classic. Graham's like, really? Again? What? Yeah. <laughs> Graham. Alt right Graham. Graham Pepe the Frog Graham. Dunlop. Yeah. Man. Well, yeah, that was a beautiful Oof. little jam, Felix. We'll get <laughs> that back. Uh, good, pretty good. Yeah, it that came through great. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. It's, 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 we do what we can here. Yes, it's, it's an amazing thing. <laughs> a little, little, little treat for you guys. Oh. That don't get you in the Christmas spirit. Nothing will. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Mm. I like oh. the line about uh, how uh, the candles match the colors in her wig. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Denver, I want to ask you about uh, Alien Con a little more. Uh, yeah. So, uh, was 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 like the the main talking heads there from Ancient Aliens? Yeah, okay. like everybody. Uh, let's see. William it, Henry was did there, it, Giorgio Sukalos, Von Daniken, um, oh, did, Mike did it, Mara, Dolan, um, pretty much anybody you can think of. There's only a, maybe like a handful. That, you know, David Hatcher Childress, he was there, <laughs> met yeah, him. The guy is, is, is there like a main stage and then like a, side, like a, like a back room, like B stage? Well, what they do, they have like, <laughs> like um, a concert, like a festival yeah, they, concert. They have like, uh, they'll have like overlapping um, panel oh, sessions. So they'll have like, you know, you'll have like David Hatcher, Childress, and um, who yeah. was he with? He was with Mike Barra and uh, Linda Mooton Howe. And then off in one of the like smaller rooms, you know, I guess they. You know, like had a couple scrubs or whatever having a yeah, conference. See, I, like when I all these names, I feel like uh, I feel like these these guys are the old guard, just hanging on to what little shreds yes. that they have left of their ETH hypotheses, and and it's just like <laughs> it's it's, it's just a matter of time before I feel, uh, dude. They, there's so much infighting and just nonsense that goes on the UFO community. It's crazy. Right. It's well, just that's, completely that's kind of crazy. like why I, I don't get into the whole UFO stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm very interested in it. I research yeah. it. But, um, so uh, as, much. As far as I'm concerned, the UFO community is the freaking worst yes. people <laughs> in the world. I mean, and, th- and that's all of them. Now, you know, you got the people that will believe anything. Yep. I mean, anything. Oh, anything they talk about. Are your yeah. objective rationalists, you know, they're just a bunch of asshole, know it all debunkers. Yes, you know? I hate that. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they, they are to me the, the like, where's the science guys? You know, they're they're more insufferable than the, you know, than the lunatics. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. So, I mean, I'll, I'll throw down with the lunatics before I'll like hang out with those guys, you know? So the, the UFO, you know, I have my opinions and stuff, but I, I just, I don't, you know, to, you know, to get in the Christmas spirit here. I mean, I don't get around the UFO topic with a 39 and a half foot pole, you know, just because yeah. people are insufferable, I think. 
Well, that's how, yeah, you. I mean, like I was saying, I don't mean to come across as a dick saying that. It's, dude, no, oh, no, not it, at like, all. You, you're in good company in the, in this genre here because it's like it's so oversaturated. Like I can't find a single thing I'm into in that whole entire realm. Well, at dude, all. and then you have this whole like to the stars academy and this all this crap that came out, and then you have these guys that are just die hard on it, and then there's other people that are just like no way, and it's. It, yeah, it's, it's it's like they're they're it's like they're you know it's like you got your idiots and then you got your 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 total elitist asshole. Yes, you know? assholes and idiots. It's that's like, all the UFO have community like is. A camp in between. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I want. You know? yep, I think that's what but, we're trying to make here. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that's where I'm at. But unfortunately, it's like it's the it's those two camps. Yeah, and and that's it. You yeah, know? but but Santa's sleigh was reversed. Uh, uh, engineering UFO. <laughs> I, think, I think you're right. Santa's I mean, it's possible. It's anti-gravitical <laughs> technology on it. Oh, That's how man. He, well, dude, we just did. Dude, you look okay, Felix. You listen to the show we did with the other night T-Bone. with with Team yeah. Bone Shuffle. Yeah. Um. Well, we went over the whole like ancient the well the basically the almost the real story of how like Santa and the reindeer and all that, like came into Sh- a, it, shamans. It, it was like uh, shamans. Uh, yeah. And, uh, they were all basically tripping on mushrooms. Well, it was, yeah, it was <laughs> and, more uh, just yeah, like a and, yeah, mushroom religion it, in Serbia. It was like, <laughs> it's a, crazy. It was pretty crazy. It, it had, a, it even related to the whole reindeer aspect of it all. It, it, I mean, it was phenomenal story. Like things we went over to, it was so wild. And you're, and like you put the time frame together and it it's another thing that just adds up to like okay <laughs> like, <laughs> add that to my my brain you know like yeah you know to go back about how the ufo community is pretty toxic sorry. right now um no don't apologize ever to me james you're the best okay I, 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 uh, <laughs> when we were at cryptid I con man you means never having to say you're sorry exactly right. yes <laughs> No, I'm sorry, go on. The middle figures the, the same as the heart. The, the <laughs> cryptid community down there, like all the people down there, they just seemed so fucking nice. Like everybody was just, yeah. everybody was in a good mood. Everybody, like there yeah. was no, I mean, there was no infighting or anything. No, I mean, there's infighting, but I would say, you know, and, and, you know, like with the, especially like with the Bigfoot community. Uh, oh, community, I could see that. There yeah. are like, um, like, People are kind of territorial and it's it's kind of clickish and stuff, but yeah. I mean it ain't nothing like the UFO community. I mean the UFO community can just go kick rocks. They can <laughs> kick all the rocks. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally with you there. I, I like uh, yeah, I got into this shit like three years ago, maybe four years ago, and just went balls kick deep into all of rocks. it, and then it's like, man, these people like all hate each other. Like, like you guys are cr- kick rocks. I, yeah, I just yeah. I just don't have time. Out, out of those high end people, I think the only really one that I would say we like is maybe Richard Dolan. Well, Richard Dolan, Dolan's yeah. great. I mean, he's great, he, but he's still even questionable. Like some of the stuff I feel. Group, I, I feel he used just, to like Richard Dolan. Yeah, yeah he used to like him. There you go. Out of yeah. anybody there, I used to like Richard Dolan. He's, yeah. he's all about his, uh, like, yeah. he's, dude, he's all about book sales. And that's why you see him at the circuits sure. with Alien Con and stuff. And, like, when this whole SSP uh, trademark thing came through, like, he was right on Jimmy Church right after it and stuff. And it's like, right. it's, he's, he's part of that camp. Like, he doesn't want to hurt his book sales. He's going to. Well, He's going to do what he has to do. He's going to not go on great shows like Knox Mente. Like, come on, what the hell? <laughs> He's in it for the money. That's yeah, it's it exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's a disaster. I heard that. Yeah, that's, that's sad. Oh, yeah. I mean, God, it was so fun. Well, I, I, yeah, it was like 10 years ago when I started going down this stuff. And it's like, yeah, man. It was so it much used fun. used to be fun. Then. You get curious. But, 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 you know, I mean, you know, like like the ancient alien guys. Yeah. Like they, they get, you know, I, I mean, that, that's low hanging fruit. And people yeah. love just like, oh, you know, these guys. But, I mean, who has done more to get people asking questions than the ancient alien show? I mean, absolutely. Abs- that's that's that, the whole you know, entire reason why I got back into it. 
These guys going awesome. around, oh, they're in it for the money. They're charlatans. They will never do 1% of what these guys have done. Oh, definitely. Getting people asking questions. It is yeah. true. That is true. Like, oh, totally. I mean, how long has that show been on the air? Dude, oh, it's, yeah, it's going on. Probably, like right? 15 yeah. years like, uh, or something. Nine, I think. Nine years. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I remember day, day, or, or I'd say day one, uh, year one of that show and just being like, you oh, are. dude, the first season, the first two <laughs> seasons were just, they were mind yeah. blowing. Oh, and like, yeah, dude, so yeah. Like, you know, that's what like got that me going. Come on, you got your pants around your ankles. Yes, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, true. so true, man. You're like, this yeah. is this is all that's been in my head for. And then, do you remember? <laughs> do you remember the History Channel when like uh, 2012 was coming around? Like, all it was was fear porn <laughs> well, about how the end of the dude. The they, they were the all over. Uh-huh. Okay. Like History Channel, yeah, dude. The Maya Cal- Oh, dude, just the special after special on the Mayan calendar. Uh-huh. Yeah. Over and over. And the, the coming of the Antichrist. And then yeah. I, I always loved because those documentaries would be like, it'd be like and, a black president that they would show. Like, it was clearly showing <laughs> Obama as the Antichrist. It was just like, jeez. <laughs> like, okay, they're just so, being so, so Jerry, blatant we just about it. Jerry, remember we were just mentioning about, um, uh, oh, shit. I just lost my train of thought, which happens. Sorry, um, man. We do uh, this. people, person, or thing. No, um, <laughs> sorry. Go ahead. I'm, I, uh, I'll remember in a second. Mm. Not to derail, but I got a, a a little Christmas tradition here to share. Okay. Go ahead, man. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll While James is remembering, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Oh, did you hear, ever hear the Tio, oh. Tio de Nadal? No. I think it's something they do in Catalan. And it has to do with a, a log that they put out. And it's basically like a Christmas log. Like a and Yule log? A Yule log, yeah. It's a log, but it's supposed to... Uh, the kids will feed it food, and they feed it, feed it, feed it uh, days before Christmas arrives. And they give them a little bit to eat so that it'll eventually poop out presents. It becomes a homuncul- homunculus? Mm. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Wait, what's a homunculus? <laughs> A homunculus is like a, isn't it almost like a artificial life? It's like a golem. Like exactly like a golem. Yeah. Well, they like, they get put a face on it and they put a little red blanket over it so it doesn't get cold. So their parents uh, put the presents up and take the food. No, the, the log poops, poops the presents. How? It's magic. (laughs) It's magic. It's a log pooping, a present pooping log. From what I understand here, it's kind of uh, like feeding Santa Claus milk and cookies. He poops out presents under your tree. Oh Same man! Idea. And it also says they they part they partly put it into the fireplace and they order it to defecate. Huh? Uh, you guys never. If you're not this? good. We're gonna make the no. Yule log burn your presents. No, but I wish I was at some of those Krampus festivals in fucking Eastern Europe. Like those were serious. Those were crazy. Yeah, man, those those looked awesome. <laughs> they were whipping next whipping year. people, we'll giving them <laughs> lashings on the streets. I was like, what is going on here? <laughs> people are ate up. I did that at Christmas once. I gave somebody lashings. Oh man, as, as long as it was on video. For money, fake lashes. <laughs> it was consensual, and she liked it. But. It was consensual lashings. <laughs> oh, I thought fake Krampus. eyelashes. Oh, lashes! <laughs> like some extensions. Some some Vidal Sassoon. Hmm. Does he make uh, yummy? Oh, uh, we got to do a Krampus show. That's got to happen. <laughs> Maybe next week. Yeah, that would be awesome. Oh, that'll be <laughs> the uh, day after Christmas one. Oh, good. Call. Oh, after yeah. Or, or what? Wait, no, no, no I think we're it's doing the day our show of. Christmas night. Right. Yeah, Christmas, Christmas night, night can be the the. Um, oh, the we'll do the Krampus. Day. Yeah, we'll do a Krampus show. Yeah. I'm down. We yeah. could do like Christmas history. Oh, I like Best that. Us. Best yeah. of us. Best of us. Yeah, oh, we could really just air our grievances. The, yes, <laughs> the solstice and then the Vatican. You know, reappropriate. Of course. Oh. Any news on the Vatican lately? <laughs> any, any, you, you got any so hot and spicy problem. news on the Vatican? <laughs> any hot and spicy news on the Vatican? <laughs> they, they rape children. 
<laughs> oh man, that's good stuff. What about children? Jesus. <laughs> well, they, How many they priest, own all many the telescopes. Issues have there been in the last thirty years? Oh. <laughs> okay, that's their thing. Okay, yeah. This is derailing down a dark path, oh, but it's true—a true. yeah, dark, is... true path. It's the Cray reality pass. of the world we live. <laughs> that's what you get after you meet a priest. Yes. <laughs> I took that. Fa- there's a questionnaire on Facebook: How Christian are you, or something? I got ninety percent. I'm a oh, Christian nice. scholar. It said. Oh, that's what it said for you. you? Yeah, <laughs> I was like, "This is so Catholic." It was the algorithm Catholic. Yeah. Oh, well, we yeah. know more about Catholicism what? and Christianity because we researched it. People yeah. who are are in it have no clue what's going. No, man, they just they go to church exactly. every Sunday, go through the motions, just because that's mm-hmm. what they're supposed to do. But you know, teach their own. Yeah, whatever. Good yeah. for you. That's exactly <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I, I just hope they find what's on Oak Island. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what's going on in Antarctica. That's all that matters. Antarctica. Yeah. Did you, was that that meme you posted? Did you post a meme? Yeah. yeah. Else, I found it in okay. the meme yeah. channel. Yeah. That's where I find, except for like all those masturbation ones today, I found those on. Dude. Oh, God. <laughs> those were meme hilarious. Channel. Go look through Facebook. I was like, what the fuck is up with Jerry today Dude, with masturbation? Our meme channel is and one of them got taken down with the birthday candle dildo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there were kids in it. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I didn't see. Doing? I didn't actually look at what it was. I what are you doing in our channel? A oh, goofy yeah. birthday, man. <laughs> it's great. Now, this was on Facebook. Yikes! <laughs> I didn't. You know, I wouldn't have posted that had I actually taken a look at. <laughs> if I looked at, it. if I looked yeah. at it closely, more closely. Oh man! I can't find the stupid thing, but it's. I mean, I saw the, uh, yeah, like, what, uh, yeah, what's going on in Antarctica with a gun pointed to the guy's head or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, that was just a meme. There was a picture yesterday that came out. I can't find it right now, but it was, oh, wait, here it is. I just saw it. The guy with the Q sign? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, what? man. The Q and non stuff. Q zero. zero check with this, the check plus this sign. out. Oh, yeah. sure. No yeah. way! <laughs> a dude. No. Oh my god! Yeah. That's not photoshopped. <laughs> no. Yeah, where we go, one we go all. Yeah. Q, Q. in Antarctica. Oh god! <laughs> it's gotta be photoshopped, dude. Oh, maybe. That's maybe. what I was wondering if What's it was called? photoshopped. Yeah. I have. I have it no idea. Cold. Like somebody put a sign. <laughs> if that guy was holding up a different sign. Mer- uh, the American flag was rolling backwards. <laughs> there's this whatever the fuck this thing is, snow globe. Yeah. Well, oh, that's, that's the South that's, Pole. That's yeah. The, that's the, the marker. The marker for the pole. So the shadow oh. of the pole is hitting the sign. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, flag I could do should be upside too. down. <laughs> yeah. James Cruz is a Photoshop master. <laughs> I could do that. Yeah, I could do it too, but I don't know. It's allegedly real. I mean, that's hilarious. If yeah, you gotta look at the pixel pattern. <laughs> okay, here's the thing, I, I, though. Anyway, whether, anyway, but whether regardless, not, the meme is epic. But yeah. whether or not <laughs> yeah, Q Anonymous, funny. okay, Q Anonymous, whether or not Q. it's actually something real, which my I'm my personal opinion is it's not real. It's LARP. But if it is, like it, it got all it these, it got it. it got all these it people, the it got these people believing in a movement. It got yeah. things actually happening, so that in a, in essence almost makes it real, right? <laughs> there Maybe? you go. The because the, there's there what go. has actually happened though. Yeah. This but is it, not nothing. a photoshopped image. Oh, they did a. But people I did are. This. Oh, oh yeah. you just did that. Photo yes. forensics. People yeah. are balls deep in it. Oh, error level God. encoding errors. There aren't any. I mean, or yeah, you what know, error level, whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, Damn. people are balls deep in it. So I mean, uh, who knows? Looks like a magic guy. But yeah, I'm. I mean, that's a sketch. Magic dude, it's been it's been going on for legit. over a year. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that picture is totally real. I mean, obviously, we're looking at this right now under photo is. forensic. There's no, Shoot. it's not, it's not faked. Where we let me, let me pull up a NASA photo for comparison. But here's my oh, God. here's yeah. my next question, Jerry. But what does this yeah. mean? If this is real, what does this mean? It's just a jackass trolling people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, it could be that. It could be. Oh, it could be so many things. I doubt it's anything real. It's everything else. 
Wow. That's so true. It's just a way. It's a. It's a way to manipulate the public. It's what it's got to yeah, be. Yeah, it's probably a social experiment. Uh huh. There you How go. How many dumbasses can we get on this train? Yeah. yeah. Oh man. You gotta run. Well, you gotta run the picture of Earth psyops. through uh, the photo so of this street. new, this <laughs> new um, rover thing that they just landed up there. Have they got any feedback from this thing yet? Like up on, I don't know. I haven't. The one I allegedly on Mars. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. 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 It recorded some wind. It records sound, right? Yeah. yeah. On the okay. seismic, the seismographs. Ah. So digital wind. So what are we what are we looking at right here, Jerry? For the listeners at home who I are think we're using their at eyes, updated Photoshop, uh, photo job. forensics of Earth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. This wasn't the one. It was there was a picture. The picture the blue marble picture is what we're looking at. Basically, just a Juno, or a Cassini pictures. You can see where it appeared as if. The photos were on. <clears throat> Keep talking. Where they were like blocked uh, in. Keep like, talking. Was... Fill the dead air. <laughs> what no, I know. No, I, I don't give a shit. There's dead air. I no. Yeah, same here. It just. I mean, we're looking at <laughs> we're looking at stuff. We're talking about things and. So, yeah, this is allegedly yeah. a photograph. Uh-huh. So. Mm-hmm. From Cassini, Cassini taking a picture of Saturn. Yes. Okay, I've and now what is this? Is this is photo forensics with an F? Photo spelled with an F. If anybody wants to use this website, photoforensics.com. Give it an URL or download an image. Oh, that was the wrong one. I'm sorry. So sorry. Uh, Denver, are you still doing um, like the cryptid corner thing with uh, Zuger? No, I ended my affiliation with the Denver. Uh, yeah, he blocked me on Twitter, which That's I don't know why. Job, <laughs> you must have brought up fake space. I, I, who knows? Yeah, you, you, he, yeah, I, I, I couldn't go on with him. I, you know, I respect you for that because he's a toxic person, and I appreciate you for that very so. much. Though. He very is much yeah, back in September. I mean, okay, you know, like I don't care what side of the fence you're on politically and stuff, but when you just say things like he was saying and stuff, I, shot shot you, yeah, I yeah. You don't have time for that kind of stuff. <coughs> yeah, but it's tough to listen or follow along with him anymore, man. Mm-hmm. I was Whatever. wondering, I was wondering why my Twitter feed was a little less bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> that I looked yeah. and I was like, oh, yeah. he blocked me. Who knows when that happened? <laughs> yeah. It's- yeah. It's, anyway, you can see in oh, this yeah. picture of Saturn, there's some fuckery afoot. Fuckery. I see. I don't know how to read this program. So I, I don't yeah, this look how it's not smooth. Oh, okay. The, 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 oh the, yeah. There's the a big divot down the middle. Yeah, and there's weirdness here. This should all be dithered nicely. If this was a high res high resolution image, it wouldn't have it wouldn't have as much solidness uh, like a, well i mean like most of like bas- basically yeah. every picture from space is it's a it's a digital it's, it's a graphic. Image, they, they take they take the data and convert that into an image like it, everything's numbers <laughs> that's why this it's, here see this here this it might red. be like a weird compensation like this this program might be compensating for the shadow effect of like the original picture that's all I could think of. I forget how it works. Uh, you can read all about it. Yeah. If, if people can, because on this, I'm sorry. On this page, on the fact, I think it is, where they tell you where, how, how it all works. How it all how, works. Yeah. Okay. And what does it mean? And Yeah. You know. No, that's fine. I just, I, I, I'm just thinking, uh, like, maybe it's compensating for that aspect of it. But, and I mean... I, I don't know. It, it's like a quick it's like uh it's like scraping a pencil on a board and then running it through a plane you know you oh know, i get it yeah it's that <laughs> kind of it's that kind of level analysis it cleans and reduces the signal to noise ratio <laughs> signal to noise ratio there you go yeah i mean that's that's how you would tell i mean uh, technically i mean <laughs> but mm-hmm Good times. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's a, it's, it's, this is fun going, you know, just kind of talking and all out and going over things and, and making fun of the fake reality. You never invested uh, in, uh, you never invested in cryptocurrency, did you, Denver? 
<laughs> no idea. Good, uh, good, good call. Because okay. of the name. <laughs> I mean, if I had money to invest, I yeah, I wouldn't do it in in crypto money that you can't spend on anything. <laughs> it's it's, 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 it's crashing. Like Everything's crashing yeah. around us right now. <laughs> yeah, it's like all of crypto's yeah, crashing. Oh, dude, it's crashing. Oh, it's 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 it's, yeah. it's plummeting. I'm not watching. Yeah, that, that's that's what I've heard. I don't about. care. Check your know. Bitcoin wallet. Well, that's dude. what it is, man. It's like the guys who have been in it forever are like, ah, who gives a shit? We've seen this shit happen millions of times. Like, and then all these noobs who bought in when they thought it was going to be the next big thing are just freaking out because they're watching the their portfolios. In, it was 20G. Yeah, dude, their portfolios are dropping like sixty thousand dollars in a weekend yeah, or man. something. It's yeah. just like it's just pure madness. When Twenty. Grand. And the worst part is like this time last year, Bitcoin was at like twenty thousand. Yeah, that's, that's when mean. it peaked. <laughs> That's when yeah. it peaked. It's because everybody everybody was at their Thanksgiving dinner talking to their family like, oh, crypto is the next big Yo, thing. Crypto, it's it's going to yeah. be huge. So it's like there was a yeah. mass buy-in after Thanksgiving. And then all the, it, it just, it rode after that. I talked my dad into buying some. <laughs> exactly. There's a private, yep, there it is. Just buy like four coins. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Well, I saw him at Thanksgiving. He's like, so how's that, how's that Bitcoin doing? <laughs> uh, yeah. It's yeah, Thanksgiving. It is. It's down to like four hundred bucks. I actually didn't have any Bitcoin. I like coin. Uh, yeah. Oh, see, yeah. If you would have bought maybe something else, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you gonna, guys. Nothing. If if you listeners want to know, you could probably go back to the episodes in like December, <laughs> and uh, we our, our the cryptos are well documented on those shows. <laughs> you can all see the terrible uh, it's mistakes. A scheme, people, it's, it's a Ponzi yes, scheme. It's a Ponzi yes. scheme. Is a that's a shit show. Oh man! <laughs> Ten people there screaming so about much cryptocurrency. And yelling. Yeah, <laughs> yes. in that show, uh, failed. Even he, he hung up. He left. Yeah, that, yeah, that's how the show got its, it's title. He's, he's that's team. exactly. He screamed that and then just left the meeting. <laughs> but then he joined Steam it and started painting and selling his yeah. paintings and making. That's what I always forget about yeah. Steam. He it. was making Steam Steam coins. Yeah. and then he was like, "Cryptos are great." <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm. I, Jerry, check my wallet. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know the. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I think I all do, the all the markets are gonna like, collapse, man. Everything's like, blowing up around us. What? Everything's no, blowing sorry, up around ahead. us. Go no, you go, James. I'm just being a Debbie Downer right no, now. No, no, let, no, no. Let me go. Let me. No, go. no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I. No, 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 no. Uh, the guests are first. So out of the guests, uh, Felix, you can go first. Oh, Felix is a co-host at this point. Felix and oh, Jerry, okay. they're, they're 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 honorary co-hosts. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was just gonna say the only thing I do like about the crypto stuff is is the blockchain technology. Oh, dude, blockchain, yeah. Even it's, though I, I couldn't, all that I, if I if you asked me to say could you def, could you define blockchain to me, I'd say nope. But I'd say I think it's I a good say thing. Cinder though. blocks and a line. <laughs> it's kind of like gluten. Nobody knows what it is. Yes. <laughs> Everybody's allergic I'm to gluten it. Gluten free, man. I'm the blockchain is a, 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 block, a blockchain is a yeah. structure which is, contains an immutable transaction. Transactions that are immutable. You can't change what them. What does immutable you mean? No, it means it cannot be changed. If Unchangeable. You, if you gotcha. change something in a past transaction, it breaks the blockchain. Oh, so, so it's a security mechanism in a way. It's for well, accountability. Yeah, so no one, sounds good. It's it's transparent because everyone it's, it's everyone can see day. this transaction right. made, right. and yeah. then you wouldn't have the Pentagon coming up twenty one trillion dollars in debt. Let's just think about that for a second. Twenty one trillion dollars <laughs> of unaccounted money <laughs> with the, that with the, the Pentagon team. has. That's insane. <laughs> yeah. See. But it was budgeted to them. This is the thing that, you know. Right. The budget does get doled out, doesn't it? Right. Yeah. They they can't account for it. it. means they don't remember what they spent it on. That doesn't mean they spent that much extra. It means it just wasn't, uh, it was still given to them as part of their budget. They just couldn't account for it. <laughs> and then in, in the black project crap, they're never going to tell you what that was spent on it anyway. Yeah. Right. So. But they're not going to spend their budgeted money on any kind of black ops. Black ops is funded through show. Oh, it's through something different. Iran Contra yeah, okay. or yeah. all the heroin that's being run or the crack <laughs> thing. Or, yeah. We did, you know. we did the story on uh, Bush Sr. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh my God. The, uh, the right, uh, I, don't, I don't know what's called the nut jobs who like the Benjamin Fulford types. 
Avengers. you know, the mass arrests are coming in and, and oh, okay. global reset. They're like, you know, Bush was executed, but that was his clone. He really died. He <laughs> was <laughs> executed. Oh, dude, oh, that's God. pretty heavy, dude. I heard oh, somebody say that that, that Bush, oh, Bush they, was... Uh, they've been saying that McCain yeah. was executed, too. Yeah, exactly. The same guy said oh, that. It's ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. It yeah. was... Uh, that's a little guy on, yeah. Actually, on CBS or Fox, a, a senator or congressman, I don't remember, actually said... When McCain was executed, yes, <laughs> yeah. put to death. I he meant really I remember, it on the news. Yeah, I heard that. When I, I remember put that. To death. <laughs> what the that's, fuck? That, and oh, pretty... and the military tri- tribunals will begin on. Uh, that's heavy. March, I'm never Jer. January January second. You could probably go back to our old oh. episodes too and hear Jared talking about FISAs and and shits going down for forever. Oh my God. It is going down. I just FISA remembered stuff? what That's happening. I, I forgot about and I need to say it right now. Jerry, we were talking about remember like this um oh we were all talking about this shift of like that to the twenty twelve thing. Like we were at the end of it of this cycle or whatever. Yeah, um, on the twenty first, it was a loop. Okay. 12, 21, 2012 to huh. 12, 21, 2018. And because they were all like, oh, this, uh, uh, whatever. I'm trying to remember all the things. I can't even remember all the things that I know. We needed to. There was too much crap we paid yeah. attention to. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the thing about 2012 being what? The, the, like extension? Yeah. Well, that was the beginning of the end or whatever, you know, like everything's going to start happening after that uh cataclysms yeah. this that whatever you know right the, like the narrative runs out on that day and whatever happens after that it's like oh it's going to be starting it's going to be starting it's gonna, and now we're coming to the end of it and nothing's fucking happening except trump's president well there does appear to be a group of p- individuals i would say that are like you and i fulfill <laughs> prophecies yeah. Ah, fulfilled prophecy. Yeah. Who was the guy that you had on that was at the two, 2012? We all died in 2012 and we didn't know. Smokey. It. Oh, yeah. SMQ. Uh, SM, SMQ. SMQ AI. Yeah. Dude, he's going to be on THC, I guess, coming up here real real soon. There you go. How about that? Cool. I, saw, I saw him tweet something about that. We can say when we knew him when. Uh, yeah, now we knew he's him when, famous. When, when we steamrolled him on an entire interview. <laughs> it was a great <sighs> show. Yeah, but he's a very different person now than he was. Yeah, he is. No. Yep. He's he's. I mean, he's we remember we asked him questions. He's like, "What's that?" Yeah. <laughs> like, yep. And now now he wears like uh, mink coats and exactly <laughs> <laughs> like uh, Elton John glasses. Yeah. He's just living that high life. Living what movie high. was Elton John in recently that was hysterical? He, he was, was in like a movie. Bitch. Yeah, he was someone's bitch. I have no idea. What? He was Father of the Bride. I missed Three? that. No, it was someone it was like a rich person who hired him to like be her slave, I guess. Oh I don't remember. God. Elton John I, movie I, twenty. I it's a comedy. It's a comedy. It's funny. You sure I'll, this I'll figure it out. Your dreams? No. Uh, Dude, they're making a rocket. So Den- Denver, are you more of a, a are you like a visual person? Are you like a reader? Or like what are you mostly? Obviously, you read books, but I mean, yeah, kind of in in between. Yeah, kind of in between. I yeah, know. I'm highly visual. I suck at. I'm, I'm not a reader. I I, I really <laughs> lack in the reading like department. Books or something. Yeah, I suck. But like, I love the audio format. I love the podcast format. Yeah. Um, we should do a, a smell vision podcast. A smell o vision, <laughs> oh, we can afford nice. off, oh, but well, it wouldn't be 4D because we're not offering visual. I mean, unless we started streaming this to 4D. YouTube or some shit. It was chance? that Kingsman movie. Oh, oh, he was in that the golden circle. Yeah, he's like the rich villain. It's funny, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Makes him like play, the piano on. play yeah. for me now. Yeah. <laughs> So Rocket they're making Man? uh they're making a movie called Rocket Man in 2019 about the life of Elton John. <laughs> How do you make a biopic about somebody who's still alive? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, do it all, they do it all the time. <laughs> Too big do they? Like, when's the David Bowie come on coming up? Starman or whatever? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, when's that coming up? I don't know. Well, when they he just died, did, when uh, he dies for real. Oh, no shit. one dies for real. When he dies for Dude, real. he might he might have been his body might have been in uh, Elon Musk's Tesla. Maybe. Oh, he's <laughs> Who knows? Whatever shenanigans are going on down somebody, there. Somebody, you, you know, somebody's somebody's body was definitely in that car. 
allegedly there was yeah i love that whole like space. it's the new elite way to go out is it is Dude, it was stephen hawking he shot out in a space in a convertible i think i think it was totally <laughs> stephen hawking he died like a week before I don't know. and all I don't of know, a sudden man. hey let's launch this car with a fucking mannequin or whatever with the test we have to we have to dig up his grave and find out I'll, oh. yeah, let's do it we haven't done some Imagine... good old grave robin oh Imagine in like a hundred years, the skeleton of Stephen Hawking would be worth millions. It'd be price. <laughs> It'd be like the Elephant Man skeleton. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And we could have it. No, I'm kidding. Man, we could have it. Oh. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm just not oh trying my to incriminate God. myself. Incriminate myself. Stephen... Yeah, if somebody oh like that, God. and you know, cl- you had to clean it off and shit. Oh yeah, definitely. You wouldn't want a nasty skeleton just laying around. Oh, oh, kind of take it off on his folds and stuff. Later, Cliff. <laughs> right. Oh, bye, Thanks, Felix. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the jam. <laughs> yep. See you guys. Catch in you the on the flip side. Yeah. See you in the future. What is the okay. Spider-Man Spider-Verse bullshit? Into the Spider-Verse, an animated. Uh, There's movie. a whole new spy- it's dude. It's it's because Spider-Man's one of our new new gods. Like they have to keep oh, creating geez. them so we get more worship. And ticket sales are and fucking then, alms. It, that's like paying I'm, your. Uh, yeah, my kids want to see <laughs> yeah, it. For whatever sure. that is. <laughs> I'm assuming that they put their social justice. Oh no, not well, intersectionality. Well, yeah, there's. Uh, well, they have spider. Like I was saying before, they had spider pig. They have there's like, there's like seven version. There's a it, it's a multiverse thing. So there's like seven versions well, Jer, of Spider Man. Jerry, you got to get with the times. If Spider Man wants to be a girl. One. But identify as a there boy. Is spider, there's a spider girl in it. <laughs> identify as a spider. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a spider. I, I want to be known as a spider. That's my pronoun. I, I identify as a spider. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens. I don't know. We got, Dude, I guess we just got to go with it. strange, isn't it? Life yeah. is strange, man. And we can't even make fun of people anymore. It's well, we used so to be able to weird. make fun of people yeah. and bully kids. Yeah. That's when it would knock people back in the line. Okay. Like, no. There's the, I just heard somebody <laughs> wants to uh, join. It's like an Olympic thing or, oh, Miss Universe. A trans, yeah, a transgender wants to join in the Miss Universe from whatever country. Like, I mean, that'll just. Dude, who cares? Miss Universe is fucking stupid anyway, so I don't care who oh, participates I, I, I in that. I understand that, but. <laughs> yeah. I just heard it on the radio yesterday. I'm yeah. like, okay. Like, that's, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. I really have no issues at all. Anybody can do whatever the hell they want. It's well, just don't yeah. uh, don't make me change yeah. the way that I live. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's, all, well, that's all I have to say. Like, leave leave me be. I'll leave you be. You do whatever you want. I don't care. We can all coexist I really perfectly fine. A lot of the people who are in your face about, you know, you should be more like this are people who really aren't like that themselves. And in order to not have to become that way, they yell at other people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So morally, it gives them the high ground. They think they're they're all they have the appearance of already being there, which is intimidating to their target. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then, like and then are the most racist people. Yeah. Oh yeah, yes. absolutely. <laughs> We're the, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm dead serious. Rich uh, white progressives are the mm-hmm. most racist people. <laughs> Yeah. But they project the racism out on other people. Right. Uh-huh. And the hate speech. Yeah. And then you have other people jumping on the bandwagon to virtue signal. So it's like they, they seem like they're righteous along with the cause. And it's just insanity. Right. Yeah. Like, like, like male, like male feminists. Male fem- feminists are the biggest <laughs> joke in the world. Like you're <laughs> just looking to get laid, buddy. You know, <laughs> if you look at it from another perspective, uh, it, like energetic you try to put yourself in someone else's shoes at times, you know, and I, I do that all the time. I'm just like, man, what would I be thinking if I was that kind of, I mean, I, I guess I wouldn't want to be shit on, but at the same time, I have a, like a logical brain. And <laughs> I, yeah, you I do. also look at it from an energetic perspective. Yeah. If people are getting emotionally involved with these things, that's a feeding energy up to the whatever organization. Or- sure. It's just making everything stronger there. So the best advice is to let's fight. Yeah, just disengage. (laughs) Disengage from. There was a really. I'll just give you an example of this. Uh, There was a Brexit protest, or uh, yeah, it was a Brexit protest. I guess organized by Tommy Robinson in in London a couple days ago. And they had the best thing. Hmm. No, no, no. no, This is in Britain. This is in Britain. 
Oh, okay. And um, there were like 15,000 people there. And then the anti uh, Brexit people, the, you know, that would be the progressives, right? Okay. Yeah. They had like 200 people. They started a fight. There were like six of them got arrested. Like they were totally violent and me, you know, all these people who they were there and they claimed to be protesting fascism. <laughs> okay. Interesting. They're really, they're really out of control. They just, they need to look up the word fascist. Uh, yeah, yeah. They don't see what they're doing. Yeah. And yeah. if you don't listen to them, they just yell louder and you'll get eventually clubbed in the mm-hmm. head. Well, I mean, uh, now they're trying to blame the yellow uh, jacket protests on Russia, you know. Russia is <laughs> Russia totally is, is I saw another, was Russia I'd be like fuck you guys <laughs> I saw another tweet in in Egypt they're banning the sale yeah dude yeah, yellow, I posted that earlier jackets. today yeah they're like nope nope you can't buy yellow jackets like, yellow vests shit down here. Nope. <laughs> people are trying to start up a yellow vest thing here yeah you know? I, I would imagine oh it's yeah, definitely it's well, gonna so, happen there's a lot of shit brewing in Europe right now Oh yeah. yeah, and that's the hot. That's that is the hot spot, man. It's like that's where all the world wars come out of. If Europe collapses, that's when shit gets crazy. <laughs> like, it's, it's, well, see, are we, you know, is Russia really going to invade Europe to take land in this day and age? Yeah, that's no. so much. No, to take land. Yeah. So, no. so I mean, yeah. So the, co- <laughs> the collapses and the people inside those countries are fucked. Yes, uh-huh. but I don't see it being a. Unless they, you know, okay, so if a, a militant group takes control and starts a war, yeah, I could see how that being bad. No. Uh. There was, I read today, I don't know if this is true, I have to research it, but there was a protest in Thailand and the cops laid down their weapons and joined the protest. Wow. Lay down their weapon? Well, that's been happening a lot in Paris and stuff. You see those videos, mm-hmm. of, like firefighters laying down and like cops laying down like they're. Dude, yeah, there's a movement what going the on, fuck? man. Yeah, I'm mad too. There's something. And then, going on. and then I look outside. Okay, so then I'm, I'm sure all of us right now can go out on our front porch and not see a goddamn thing like this. No chaos <laughs> and we're at watching, all. And we're watching that, like you said, Jared. We, we always talk about the, the 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 media. This that you know, like oh, it's the worst fucking thing ever. Right. I mean, I guarantee. I grant it. I guarantee though, if you were living in London. Or, you know, if downtown that area, you know, like where all that shit's going down, yeah, you would see that stuff. But like, right maybe, now, we're all maybe. good. You know, like I, right. my neighbors aren't throwing rocks through my windows. You know, no. like it's not right. And happening. if you had never heard, yeah, like of of any of that, would it have mattered? No, it wouldn't. Nope, so, not at all. What have you lost because of that? You know. Right. If, if, if anything, you was there. uh an upset stomach or something. Yeah, and you, or you were yeah. distracted, or you were happy. It doesn't have to be a negative. Thing. Sure. Or your or, or the this this uh band of freedom fighters is uh fight for what I believe in. You know, like, um, and then you jump on that bandwagon. You know, and, and through right. through a media driven situation. You know, right. like, it doesn't matter which side you're on. Just. Yeah, exactly. The, I, the I mean, yeah, if sure. you're on a side and you're putting energy into it, then it's then it's a problem. And you're being fed upon. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that those are this That's is kind of crazy. <laughs> we always go down Denver. I don't know, but it, <laughs> like it, it gets gets crazy, gets wild, gets fun. It's exciting. A lot of rabbit uh, trails. Yeah, oh, down dude, it's, those it's rabbit trails and nothing but uh, yeah. We're d- we're done with the rabbit holes. Yeah, the rabbit <laughs> yeah. holes are just yeah. To just it's so it, that's so not fun anymore. Because all they do I is mean, lead to more rabbit holes. Like you'll yeah, never find the end. Up with more questions. Yes. Chasing yeah. your own tail. Yeah. Well, those uh, are those rabbit holes are fake. The fake rabbit holes. But then holes. okay, so then I I always have this thing like I, I'm like I'm trying to get back into these things and and it's like, but. All you do, like we were talking about earlier, all you have is the old garb, you know, like the old, this, the stuff we already know about. And the dude that's, you know, he's written it, you know, uh, like say it's, uh, don't, I mean, not even, I don't know, don't, yeah, like he's written his fourth book on, uh, the SSP or whatever, secret space program, you know, or, or, or even somebody else along those lines, uh, um, 
Or, or, I don't know. I mean, we I used to listen to well, we, we all well, a lot of it's here uh, like like the fade to black, you know, Jimmy Church, and you would always have, but he covered a lot of stuff, whether it was cryptid or whether it was. I've had a thought about this recently. Ufology. And then it goes way deep into the whole uh, sphere being alliance stuff. The uh, Corey Good and yeah. uh, David Wilcott, you know those kind of guy. You know and that's that's a tough call with all those people, and it's just. Uh, well, it's not and well, I know. I, I mean, yeah, me personally, I'm not into that, but uh, <laughs> I'm not down the whole sphere being alliance thing at all. And you, know, um, you want to hear a crazy theory? Yeah, yes. go for it, dude. Yeah. Uh-huh. What if? So what if a group of people in the government, whatever, the military industrial complex, put it that way, decided to make Roswell an incident which they could then expand upon and gain benefit from the ancillary results like the conventions, the books. You know? If you put but it like keep, that, then that's exactly what they did. <laughs> keep the story yeah. going yeah. with enough, you know, <laughs> Keep people, keep the carrot out there to have yeah. enough shit, have enough industry build up around it and get a piece of all those industries or even start those industries. Per- perfect example of something like that just happening. That Lazar documentary comes out. He mentioned yeah. something about, uh, I guess in the documentary about like having a piece of the element 113 or whatever it is. Like he had it uh, and the FBI raids his home like a week later. Like right that's after. what I was talking about. So it's like, I, is I, that? I thought it was recent, but then I read the whole. The, the, you no, no, it, yeah, it just happened. They, it's like they saw the, and they're like, yeah. oh shit, he might have this stuff. So is that just like a false yeah. story to say, like, oh shit, they're you know the FBI raided Lazar? Like, what's it's not what is information? There's no way to prove that. Yeah. So <laughs> what is that? <laughs> or, or even if they raided his home, it it might have been. Due to tax evasion or something, right? right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, they will, don't you get a receipt for all the evidence they confiscate? You probably what, but through a FOIA or something, maybe? No, or, he should get one. Oh, he should yeah. get a receipt, uh, or maybe it was like what's the who, who was the one dude that uh he released that documentary on Netflix and then like a week later he went down for child porn or something on his computer? Yeah, I don't, I don't oh, know. that was yeah. yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Um. Uh, yeah, and then I remember uh, Jimmy Church like being on Twitter, being like, "Oh, they're taking him down!" Like, yeah. he was it's like, framed. Yeah, he was yeah. framed yes. exactly. And it's like, oh, it was Doug. I forget his name. Yeah, well, it Stanford. was he, he had all that the 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 footage of the alien in his fucking window and shit. Yeah. Um, Douglas. Oh, uh, I'll find it. Not on acknowledge. It wasn't. That's that's the Stephen Greer stuff. Um, it's creepy though. Oh. It is on Netflix still right now. It's still on there. I know he's. <laughs> I know who you're talking about. I can't remember. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. A, a quick. Google. Stan Romanek. Stan, Stan Romanek. Romanek. Yeah. Stan Romanek. <laughs> I, I was saying Stan Wick. Yeah. <laughs> Stan Wick. <laughs> yeah. yeah Busted Stan for Wick. kitty porn. Man. He claims crazy he stuff. Friend. But at the same time, you have to wonder, like, why are some of the largest uh, databases of child pornography in the NSA and CIA and all those other fucking government, like, I don't know, man. It's fucked up. Because they analyze it. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. You you can come up with a a way to represent an image numerically, right? And if Mm -hmm. they could scan internet data images per specifically and look for that signature, they can identify what kind of images people have. You know, yeah. if people are trading child porn images, they could, they could somehow insert their own, like a tracker image too. So they could be setting anybody up for anything. Who knows? Madness. It's a sick world we live in. Well, it's nobody trusts the government anymore. <laughs> No, that's well, the problem. Dude, you, so wouldn't, you, wouldn't, all this shit. you wouldn't know that by watching like late night uh, talk shows and stuff. Like there was just that article about how, uh, uh, well, you know, like Stephen Colbert and they're all, <laughs> the, dude, they're all like obsessed about Mueller and like have like moments of silence and love him and just 
about yeah, the whole it's, investigation. It's rich how all the progressives all of a sudden yeah. love the CIA now. Yeah, what is when, up with that? Ten what years mean? ago, they were accusing the CIA of running drugs into the inner cities. Yeah. And right, like yeah. That. It, it's like it, these it, people have been hypnotized. What about, uh-huh. dude, you know, today the, from the, Google. The progressives the, the Google are, are guy today. The progressives are these anti-communist freedom fighters. When I grew up during the Cold War, right? There and you go. At every turn, you know, the progressives were were against you know people that took a hard line with Russia right. and things like that. So, right. and you know, I'm not trying to you know get political or whatever. Oh, I just think it's we so it. disingenuous. We just talk. Right there's now. a there's a book that came out after the election by. I forget which report. It was a, a, a couple of reporters who were embedded in the Clinton campaign. And in this book, I think it was called Shattered. I, I could check. Um, they claim in this book that uh, the campaign had cooked up this Russian thing as a, a way to sink Trump since oh, they lost. Easily, I'm sure. I mean, that's their claim in the book, but yet well, well, they had the whole $30 million, dollars and two years later, we get nothing. Yeah. Well, I mean, dude, I don't think there'll ever be nobody's ever going to go to jail. Nothing's ever going to happen. Like if anything did happen, oh, they're just going to have to pay a fine. Yeah, oh, well, well, yeah. I mean, but not I mean nobody like like the Clintons, like none of that, no, nothing's going to happen. players are going to jail. Nothing's no, going to happen. No. Everything's going to stay like it was. Of course. You know, Trump yeah. will either get reelected or he'll Dude, he'll, he'll get not. Told- I, I totally think he's going to get reelected. Oh, <laughs> like, I, I, I do too, just because yeah. of how stupid everybody's acting. <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. You know, you It'll know, blow right over. Like everybody the wind. that doesn't agree with you. Yeah. yeah. You know, Talk you, about you, election. You doing that and see what happens. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah. speaking of election collusion, I didn't hear anyone bringing up how the Kavanaugh trials. Oh uh, my God. Interrupted or perhaps influenced the election. Dude, remember they were like gonna they were that was their epic like uh fail save, you know, like like yeah, that's gonna bring down everything. That that, like, that won yeah. them the house. Yeah, yeah, it totally backfired beyond belief. No, 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 no. They won, they got I, their yeah, it backfired uh, after the election. They yeah, still after won. that, after that they yeah. got the influence in it, but I don't hear them talking about how that was collusion. No. <laughs> Such a, it was. I mean, it was interference. Yeah. Uh, okay, it's technically interference. Media interference. It was planned. Like, yeah, let's put these fucks on. Pelosi had that letter for months. Yeah. Before. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. It's the three other witnesses they dangled out there all turned out to have been lying, and they admitted it, and they're all under federal uh, investigation now. Yeah, uh, yeah, but you don't hear that on the news. No, no, you, you I know. And I say, I, and I, and like, I'm talking about, yeah, you go outside and you don't see any of it. And I admit to listening to things and watching things, and you, you keep up on the sign of times and stuff, and you have to form your own opinion on it. But I take I, I, all of us here, we take just a logical approach to what's going on. We're, we're, we're not anything. We're just right down the middle. I mean, we, anybody, we see it as it is, dude. Anybody that gets all worked can. up over either side of the aisle is just... Uh, you, you spent too much time. Yeah, yes. you, you just need to get a grip. I mean, yeah, totally. You're being played. You're being played, dude. <laughs> yeah. The left yeah. and the right are two wings. Of the same <laughs> They've bird. always yeah. been that way. Yeah, two wings of a shitty aircraft that's think? crashing into a cliff. Oh man! When do you think that started? Right when they divided the house in general? When like, they flipped, probably. Like, like, what, what do you think it was with Kennedy? Was it before the Kennedy assassination? Yeah, like that whole thing, or like it's probably always been this way. It's probably always been that way to who, divide I, and conquer. Who knows? There's no way to find out. Uh, I don't. Well, think divide and conquer would have been meditate and remote. Well, divide and conquer would have been what they wrote in the newspaper. You know. I mean, I'm talking before multimedia, you know, like, I mean, if you believed whatever story that your local newspaper wrote at the time, God, God damn. <laughs> right. Well, you go back to Gutenberg, anything that was written and you know, printed became authoritarian. Sure. Steve, Steve guess, Gutenberg, <laughs> <or> Police <laughs> Academy. Authoritative, authoritative, right. Guess who owns the New York Times? The dude down in Mexico owns it. <laughs> Carlos Danger. Yes. 
Carlos, dude, like, uh, Carlos, Carlos Danger. Slim. You know Carlos said? Slim, right? <laughs> I said Carlos Danger. Carlos Danger was uh, Andrew Wiener's online handle. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so right. <laughs> Carlos Slim. This guy. And then his wife. Remember how she's intertwined? Oh, my God. The Oh, Huma? my God. Remember that old whole Huma. crazy are you talking about the laptop oh, well, about, and the Clinton? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, my. So they had set up a BlackBerry replication server. Okay. At uh, wherever, at wherever their office was. And it, whenever their Blackberries were in range of this thing and on Wi Fi, it would back them up to the server. <laughs> that server then backed itself up to, you know, like an off site backup, which happened to be Andrew Winter's laptop. <laughs> Andrew Winter's <Jeez>. laptop. <laughs> So, so when the New York police confiscated his laptop in the raid, when he got arrested, for, I don't know what he got arrested for, <laughs> underage texting or sexting, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So they took his laptop. And oh, there's been a ton of stories about that. It got, the, chain of, the chain of custody is missing. Or these are, these are things I've heard. There's no way to prove it, though. I have no idea. But I've heard yeah. that, you know. The chain of custody is missing, so it's questionable where it went after there. Um, I've also heard that the police have already made backups of it, and mm. there's like 650,000 emails on it from Hillary, from her private yeah. server. This kind of shit. It's like that they've had this, but that just feeds into the whole QAnon. You Dude, 650,000 emails. See how many emails that is? Like right now, if I look at my, uh, if I look at my phone, I probably have like. 4,000 emails on there, and that's like two years of not deleting them. That's spam and everything. So, I mean, that's... <laughs> your spam I, 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 oh, dude, I went... I easily have over... You're so true. I, in my Yahoo account, I went like, uh, it was last week and there was like... There was over 4,000 emails in it. <laughs> anyway. I never checked that one. <laughs> these would be from Hillary's server that was in her closet that held all those you know, classified documents. Oh, um, I, I, I thought I just heard that. Was that where the emails were that, that they were, they were bleaching the emails. <laughs> we wiped just, the server. Just, just bleach it <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's, uh, yeah. That server was being backed up to Andrew Wiener's laptop and the New York, New York police department had custody of it. Oh yeah. But, and then they get but, probably got threatened. Right. That's well, what I mean. Well, yeah. Well, that's yeah. when then Comey came out. Well, the memo was already <laughs> drafted apparently to yeah. exonerate her on this before any Comey evidence had come in. Now rule. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And then we all make mistakes. Uh, the server is uh, destroyed. <laughs> See, this, <laughs> totally is, destroyed. this is the shit that I, I feel. Smashed with a hammer on accident. Do you know? Do you know um, <laughs> one of the things that they're accusing Trump of allegedly is. Uh, in the collusion is that the Russians hacked the DNC server, right? Yeah. Um, the DNC refused to hand over that server that to the FBI. So the FBI has never even seen it. Or Isn't examined it? it. <laughs> yeah. That, I think that's blatant. Uh, well, how can you prove a crime when you don't even have, I mean, the, you have no proof. Right. Yeah. I almost oh, wonder if uh, things, <laughs> if if things like QAnon started up to distract people away from legitimate things like this, well, like the, act like the actual shit yes, going on, probably. So, so a Reddit post went ape shit, right? So or whatever a four chan post went completely ape shit, beginning with that stupid frog thing, right? No, no, QAnon. How, how long really ago was the, the Pepe Q, thing? QAnon that was two came, years ago. Yeah, Pepe was around the election. QAnon was, was like, election, uh, right? yeah. QAnon but, but, came but out meme, right. Interesting about that, though, is that meme that Pepe the Frog actually made it, like, trended so much that Hillary, like, called it a Nazi thing. Didn't yeah, it was, it, was an enemy, it was an enemy of the state. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pepe the, the Frog is an enemy candidate. of the state. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty fucking interesting. A meme is uh, an enemy mm -hmm. of the state. Anyway, sorry. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's just that's that's. But yeah, QAnon started up right after uh, the uh, October one uh, Vegas yeah. shooting, mm -hmm. yeah, which I always thought was interesting because I felt like it was almost a way of pulling people, like the conspiracy theorists, away from investigating what happened in Vegas. Like, okay, let's get them looking down this oh, rabbit rabbit trail dude, over here. I, I see it as an upgrade to the whole. Um, Iraqi dinar, Zimbabwe dollar, global reset, militias are going to take control. That group of people, it's like the leveling. Where the real money is, right? I don't know. 
<laughs> no, it's just it's like it's like that on steroids. Yeah, exactly. I totally but in a, agree. Wrapped in a puzzle. Right. Wrapped, wrapped in a puzzle, tucked ah. away in an enigma, hidden behind a yeah. fridge. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants to feel stupid. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. No, I mean, yeah, yeah. I don't mind if you want stupid. <laughs> I, I do it all the time. Every time I get behind the mic. <laughs> I'm not stupid, but I'm lazy. I <laughs> know. Yeah, it's so weird. Like, Me do too. I really want to put on a yellow vest and go out and throw shit at somebody's window? Not really. But, but... I go out and film them doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll still probably just sit inside and watch some anime while the world's burning down around me. <laughs> while the world's <laughs> burning <laughs> down. Until, until I'll the be in my chair, too. Yes, yeah, exactly. I'll be in my chair watching it. Speaking of anime, have you seen Hero Mask? I oh, gotta gosh. fire it up. It's Hero brand new. Mask. I know. It. I'm looking yep. it up right now. I'm it's intrigued. brand new. It just came out. Yeah. It's it's a bit cheesy, but I dude, mean, I like seven deadly sins. Oh, dude, it looks awesome. Yeah. Hero Mask. Uh, just it's got me. really bad voice acting. No, you gotta watch because you have to I'm watch anime freak, subbed. Dude. Dude, you have to, the Japanese voice actors in anime are so much more superior than an English voice actor. It's sickening. Just deal with the subs. I, I can't you, do it, dude. I you can't just, do, dude, you, your brain just picks I, it up. My problem I with can't the hero do mask. what you're doing. I can't do it. <laughs> the hero mask. I can only do what I can do. <laughs> when you is watch it, they direct it like a drama. version of anime, like a drama. <laughs> yeah, like they have lingering thoughtful shots of a 2d character you know oh dude that's anime right there (laughs) but that's it's there's no emotion being shown either and to linger on that is just a lot okay a lot of that a lot of that is because animes are based off of mangas which are you know japanese comic books so they usually do an episode yes they they do an episode of chapter so they have to fill that time in so that's almost like a filler shot where they'll do like a five second like drift up somebody's body or something or just like They'll, they'll do shit like that just to fill time. Well, they'll freeze frame before, and just before I shut up. I want to tell everybody listening and you guys, you got to watch this uh, mini series. That's uh, it's a se- season one of a show called Happy Happy on Netflix. Oh, that's a Grant Morrison. That's Grant Morrison. Grant right? Morris. It's yeah. a Grant Morrison comic. It's really good. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> it's very violent. Yeah, I've watched, violent, I think I watched the good. first episode of it, and I was like, what the hell is going on in this show? And then I got so <laughs> I got, I got to pick it back up. Show. Man. Sorry. I know. I, I, like, I, you know like I was telling Denver, I was asking Denver, like, what, are you a, a visual? <laughs> I'm more of a visual. I'm, I'm like, I, I'm the uh, Give me adventure some media kind of store Give of me sorts. Some movies. <laughs> Well, guys, so, uh, yeah, I am. I'm the Netflix. I, I, God, I got like three things going, but I just finished. I finished Seven Deadly Sins. Nice, which Good is job, anime, James. and I'm just dipping yeah. my toes into this whole anime thing, dude. Just, but, you gotta um, watch. Subtitles. I've just started to binge watch The Flash. Oh, oh okay. I heard well, that was pretty good. good C- totally on the CW. What? Yeah. It's That's- a CW show. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It gets good until they start doing the brand split with Arrow. I'm in the fifth or sixth episode of the first season. Oh, already, you'll be fine for a long time. Well, the, the, there's so much hypocrisy in it. I can't believe it. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The one dude reminds me of Stephen Greer just because he kind of looks like him, like the scientist guy. Like <laughs> he reminds me of someone, but not Stephen Greer. I can't. Think okay, of him, but definitely creepy. Yeah, creepy. Plus, he's yeah. a liar. He can walk and shit. Yeah, you'll see like way later on. Yeah, he's got an AI that can <laughs> the future. Yeah, yeah. So. but that show was great. And Arrow was really all both of them were really good until they started teaming up. But um, oh, that chick Felicity Smoke. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Oh. So and, and I've been watching the her. Last Kingdom <laughs> on Netflix, which is, which is like Game of Thrones, but without like the dragons and shit i really hmm. like it a lot um the start of the third season of that uh and i watched a couple movies here and there you can um, always tell when we're I, winding down the show because james starts talking about what yeah. he's been watching on uh, Netflix. Ridiculous <laughs> Six, adam sandler flick super funny and great it's a western oh yeah i heard uh, that that was pretty funny it's pretty freaking funny dude yeah it's really crazy and, and good and funny uh, I, what else? Any blockbusters? Well, oh, I want to watch that. A Hotel <laughs> Artemis. Did you watch that, Jer? Muted. 
I started it and I haven't finished it yet. Okay. All right. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the, the the bad accent on I forgot her name. Somebody Foster. I I, bar- I I turned it on. I'm like, fuck, I got It's like a, a Long Island, it's a Western Long Island accent on Jody so, Foster. It's, it's so crazy. I'm I, I, it's so weird that Netflix's stock is just plummeted and I'm digging like everything they're putting out. I don't understand it. You know what I've noticed is that net, all the shows that Netflix produce are very organic evil, if you put it that way. Okay. Like, oh, or, so they don't like, like, like that whole leftism. They, they like don't like dark that. religious, yeah. dark yeah. demon, yeah. dark, you know, that. Well, dude. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I, I'm all on the stuff fourth that Amazon episode does? of Sabrina, and it's so dark. Right. So but dark. if you look at yeah. contrast that with what, yeah. what Amazon makes, they're all very very yeah. and cold yeah. and not they're evil cold machine cold yeah it's interesting in the juxtaposition between the types of content those two, two companies make yeah oh man I, man I don't know it's just i just find their content really good i mean i really like netflix's content anyway man oh man uh yeah, let's wrap it up, guys. You want to pull the rip cord, a, dudes? Yeah, this, this is, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, went, we went for a while. Uh, I understand. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, that, but that's just kind of how we're doing the show now, Denver. <laughs> 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 you, yeah. I hope you had fun. Yeah, absolutely. yeah. I mean, if, if anybody wants to catch like the first whole half of this show, which was uh, uh, just us three basically, and a lot of fun. And a lot of recap of some yeah, really download, cool download the podcast. You live listeners yeah. right now. Just check it out. Yeah. It'll be on but, uh, uh, next Denver, where, where can people uh, find you or get your stuff or plug your shit? You, know, uh, <laughs> you can look me up on Amazon. Um, all my books are on Amazon or, you know, Barnes and Noble, wherever you buy books. So uh, I'm pretty active on Twitter, underscore Denver Michaels. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. um, I'm on Facebook, uh, author Denver Michael. But uh, I'm more of a Twitter guy than a Facebook guy. Twitter's great. It's the Wild you West. Might still. Have to come, you might have to be our cryptic corner guy. Our <laughs> cryptic. Right there with my Facebook is <laughs> Facebook yeah. sucks. I mm. kinda, I, I'm just there because you know there's there's some people out there that I interact with, but uh-huh. I, uh-huh. I find people on Facebook are a little more uptight. Uh, I started that account and I haven't been back there in like three months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm way more of a I mean, Twitter's got its flaws, but I, I like it a lot better. Uh, yes, for sure. Oh, Twitter's great. It's so crazy. It's so it's the wild, wild west, though. Yeah. <laughs> if you want it to be, or you uh-huh. can be guided down a path. Dude, of, you get uh, you get porno on Twitter. Yeah. Come on. Uh, yeah, you do. Yeah. It's not the love. Jerry, who you got on Nox Mente tomorrow night? Uh, Tim Renner tomorrow. Oh, oh yeah, oh, that's that's gonna be great. Dude, Tim Renner's Renner awesome. so cool. Yeah. And, uh, next week we have MJ Dixon. Oh, yeah. beautiful. Is it going to be an early show? It's like yeah. a triple Four shout o'clock. out to her tonight. Four yeah. Nice. We got a, yeah, we got a really nice lineup coming up. Yeah. Um, in, let's see. Oh, Here. Denver, you got to do Jerry's show. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's, it, it, uh, well, you, you can explain it yourself. Is your show. <laughs> <laughs> it's unlike anything you've ever done. Okay. Uh, yeah, so in January we've got Varla Ventura, Grimstake, Imagine, David Charles Plate, I think, and Susan. Hashtag Chang. Grimstake. <laughs> Grimstake got bumped. Susan Chang was just on uh, yeah. a culture a couple weeks ago, so it's a good show. Oh, we got to get Ryan on again, dude. We got to get Ryan on this show. Oh yeah, but I He's talked had- to him. Maybe uh, maybe Saturday we're gonna do a little recording with him. I forgot oh, to mention that to you. Live, uh, a culture or Patreon chat on the 26th. Yeah, I saw that, the 26th. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. I will be but, there. Uh, Suzanne, where can people find you? <laughs> <laughs> in a van down by the river. <laughs> down by the river. In a van down by the river. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Putting out wildfires. Yeah. Uh, oh, whenever uh, there's a wildfire, you could definitely find Suzanne on Twitter screaming at Jerry Brown. <laughs> And giving you all the wildfire <laughs> California truth you need. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> Turn off the That's direct right. 
here or in the hive whenever uh-huh. we there have it. Whenever we have it. They're few and far between. But they're <laughs> few and but far they between. Or right. when, when you guys demand it, we'll have it. Yes. It's, it's, right, it's, it's, it's one of those when that has to be requested. It's on yeah. demand now. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, guys. Thanks awesome. for uh, hanging out with thanks. us tonight. It's a good time. And uh, thanks, Denver, thanks for, for hanging thanks out again, man. Yeah, yeah, thanks for having and... me, guys. Had a good time. Yeah, yeah thank you. This is very fun. And uh, I know it was nice to meet you. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Nice to meet all y'all. Thanks. Night, guys. Have a great night. Girl, cause you so chill